just checking if the stream's working. Ah, oh, the Elgato always messes us up. We're not streaming fire. <laughs> it's like, we're just streaming fire. Welcome to fire. Alright. Fire Pro Wrestling World. There we go. Alright. Done. Alright, I think we're good. Welcome to Okada's Great American Bash. Golden Star Alex starts with Night Monkey in the chat. Yep. It's, a, it's for the hardcore ones. Alright, this took a lot longer than I thought. Uh, yeah, setting this up was a pain in a caboose. Just connecting the Elgato to the Mac was acting up. So, right now, we are doing a pre-show requested by Golden Star Alex. And we are going to stream the Great American Bash. Okada's Great American Bash. Where I'll defend the US title at level 4 against nothing but former US champs and USA legends. We're doing it for the July 4th. We're doing it for Captain America. We're doing it for the G1 in Dallas, Texas, America. And here's the thing. Uh, there's a review of the G1 on Coco Sports' YouTube channel. So please check that out. What's on the hat? Tampa Bay Lightning, baby. I mean, Tampa Bay Rays. So there you go. I could change to a Giants hat if you want. And we'll have a request a hat segment. I got the Giants or the Rays. I just thought I'd, you know, get a little Rays. It's American. USA. American Bash. Alright, we're gonna have Red Shoes referee most of these. We're gonna be in Madison Square Garden. We got a WCW Bash and Champ ring. We will be defending the US title after this requested pre-show. It's the three Musketeers versus uh, Rapungi 3K and Okada. And Rapungi 3K looks like back when they were high energy. I watched the Great American Bash 1989 on July 4th. That Sting vs. Great Moon of Match must have been your dream back then. It sure was, buddy. It sure was. Maybe we'll have that as a rematch. Coco! No spoilers, but out of 10, how good was w night one of G1? I'm going to watch it after the UFC event. Um, Out of 10, I, I always go win, loss, or tie. I think it was a win. Um, I thought this start was so-so, but the G1 matches were all different and all amazing except for one. Um, I, I give it a 9. 9 out of 10. Um, it wasn't the perfect event, but hey, it was an awesome event. But now, on to the Great American Bash. If you want more of that, Coco Sports on YouTube. Ah, uh, you got Hashimoto of the Three Musketeers. And we got Masawa. Why did I forget his name for a second? Right on, can't wait. Here we go. And we got the Great Muda, the Three Musketeers. Three of the greatest Japanese wrestlers of all time. So here we go. We're going to be streaming a while, and then we're going to do hot. I'm hoping my computer holds up. I might have to buy a new PC. You know? It was acting. Dude, it took forever to restart this computer. I was really nervous. The Great Muta. The IWGP champ in this universe. So if Okada can pin him, maybe he can beat him at level 10. So there we go. And then I got Rupungi 3K. Oh, look at, look at Muta. Just look at him. Respect him. All uh, right. Wasn't it Chono, not Misawa? Uh, shit. I don't know. Maybe I fucked up. It could have been Chono. Whoops. We fucked up the request match. <laughs> what happened was... Oh, well, Misawa's cool, though. Yeah, it was probably Chono. You're right. I'm wrong. I just panicked. I panicked. It was a request match. What's up, Coco? Nothing much, Buchanan. Just streaming Amer the Great American Bash. It's going to start off with a six-man tag. It was a request match that I fucked up. But Dylan, I, I don't mess up often on his channel. Just all the time. So please forgive me. All right. So, yeah, we're going to stream. It's going to be all IWGP US title matches with Okada after this. Okay? We're going to go against former US champs. And we are going... The Great American Bash. So there you go. Yeah, and then we're going to take on American Heroes. Muda's fucking with me emotionally. The fuck was that about? He's like, I'm not walking into the big boot. There we go. So he is, the, in this universe, he is our IWGP champ. That means on Twitch Thursday night, Twitch Thunders, I have to beat him on level 10. On pay-per-views, where we try to get as many matches as done, we try to stick on level 4. On Twitch Thunder, we start at level 1. Every time we go up, 
it goes up a level. Every time we lose, it goes down a level. We always defend the Coco Sports title, which I just won back from Will Allspray. Holy shit, Muda, don't be a fucking dick. This is level four. How am I supposed to beat you on level 10 if you're whooping my ass on level four? You ever think about that, Muda? Holy fuck. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm dead. Hey, what's up, King Darkwing Duck? Much love, brother. This is my new passion. I'm eventually going to move everything here. So, appreciate it. So, yeah, we're, we're on the road to 70 followers. We're going to stream. Whoa! Fucking missed! Oh, fuck. I fucked up the opening match. I was supposed to put Chono. And I put Masawa. I watched Hashimoto wrestle Steve Crino live at the I IPW thing. I have been to, uh, I've been to Hashimoto's house, and I saw his son's first match. So yeah, rest in peace, Hashimoto. Oh, come on, you son of a biscuit and cheese. There we go. Oh shit. I notice a lot of this stream and fun facts is just me at people's houses. That's like two episodes in a row. I was at Macho Man Randy Savage's house. I've been to Hashimoto's house. I've been to Tanahashi's house. I'm starting to think maybe I got a fucking pro wrestling fetish's house. I've been to the Nasty Boys house. I've been to Hogan's house. I gotta stop fucking haunting these wrestlers. <laughs> maybe I'll start a Twitch. That'd be awesome, brother. Uh, yeah, I would definitely support it. Oh, son of a bitch. It's a lot of fun. All right. Oh, shit. Come on, boys. Ah, oh, fucking punch me in the belly. Son of a biscuit and cheese. Sorry it took so long for the podcast to hear. My computer was acting up. I'm actually a little worried about the stream. Alright, guys. I know I'm playing, like, the greatest fucking legends ever, but... I sh This is a fucking... This is Okada's pay-per-view. Ah. Oh, there we go. Alright. Alright, no one even cares. Alright. Yeah, stick with the stick with the Okada cutter. Is that Larry I hear? Yeah, Larry's up. We we have a bird. This mic picks up everything. You guys probably will hear Larry before I even hear Larry. Oh, he knows sold the big boot! Oh Jesus Christ. I might have to tag in Rumpungi 3K. Alright, here we go. I'm not a big fan of six-man tags because, well, I don't trust people. And they take forever. Alright, that's it. I'm gonna fucking. Bring lots of comments, because I'm about to tag out. Alright, hold on before I tag out. Oh, Jesus Christ! Hey, guys, Rebunga 3K, you can help me out! Alright, I'll do it, it's cool. There you go. Rebunga 3K, do something awesome. Oh, Muda kicked me right in the fucking nuts. Alright, Rebunga 3K, I'm gonna go with that was not successful at all. Hashimoto, I love you, buddy, but you're fucking busting my balls here, okay? Oh, shit. Toe to toe, Hashimoto in his prom versus Okada. Only on the Great American Bash. On Twitch, Coco Sports Time TV. Wahoo! Alright, I'm gonna tag someone. Can I tag? There we go. Yeah, let's go fucking whoop some ass. Let's be a team. Here, a fucking big boot for you. A bit little boot for you. And I'm out. Oh, Jesus Christ, Muda. Don't be a dick and kill the kid. Uh, my computer acts up sometimes. It, it, it'll it be the death of me one day, I swear. Have you seriously been to Tanahashi's house? My dream is to meet him at night, though. Yeah. Hashimoto's son's wrestles? Oh, uh, that's cool. Yeah. Uh, remember to stand still and ask for the tag to get a tag. Alright, do I hit the L button or the triangle? I always fuck up the tag. Hold on, let's go fucking help a friend, shall we? Alright, fucking Okada Cutter for you, or I'll just fucking fall on my face. Holy shit, dude. This is the pre-show, and I'm getting my ass kicked. Look at me. What the fuck? I'm so, I'm so embarrassed. Alright. Triangle to ask for tag. Alright. I need a tag! I need a tag! I'm a greedy motherfucker. I should breathe first, yeah, then get the cool. tag. Oh, oh, everyone's there. Oh. Alright. Oh, Jesus Christ. Boys, we ain't doing so good. Alright, I'm standing still, asking for the tag. There we go. Alright, can I? Oh, shit. Alright, can I come in? Yeah, let me just kick it back in the head. Thank you. 
Best tag team partner ever. I went to Great American Bash in 07. I think that was the beginning of the downfall of WWE. Yeah, it breaks my heart that it's considered a WWE pay-per-view now. We're taking it back on Twitch. All right. Oh, come on. I could have used the tag. This is why I don't like six-man tags. I'm not a good team player. There we go. Masao is not even supposed to be here tonight. I fucked up the request. I saw Masao and I'm like, I'm putting him in! Poor Chono. I don't even know if I have Chono. I might have Chono. I'm not sure. Oh, for the love of fucking God, tag me, man. <laughs> Alright. I want to be the one who pins Muda. Because Muda's been beating my ass on level 10 for the IWGP title. I want to be the asshole who beats him. Alright. If I get tagged in, I'm never tagging out again. Alright, give me the tag. Give me the tag. This is a good time. Seriously, you can't out-wrestle Muda. Okay, you're fucking Rapungi 3K for Christ's sakes. I don't want to be the bear of bad news. Okay, 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 okay. Is he going to tag me? Son of a bitch! Alright, tag me. Tag me. Right here. Oh, what the fuck are you guys doing? Hey, you guys do whatever the fuck you want to do. Holy shit, I was wrong. You were right. Don't ever fucking tag me again. I saw a match of Noah of Samoa Joe versus Masawa. Yeah. Back then, but Noah's crazy. Back then, Samoa Joe wasn't over in uh in Japan. But during that time period, people just thought he was a copy of Masawa. Or Hashimoto and stuff. They just thought he was a watered-down version. And now... He's loved by everyone, because he's some old motherfucking Joe. Alright, guy. Alright, you just do whatever you want, the Rapungi 3K. Welcome to Rapungi 3K's The Great American Bash. Alright, come on, buddy, tag me. I heard Samoa Joe talk about him wrestling Hashimoto at the... Uh, all, all the time, how, how much it hurt. Yeah, he did not fuck around. He he basically one time at the WrestlePlex IPW in Florida, his NWA anniversary show, he just fucking killed Steve Carino. It helped Steve Carino's career. But jeez, I was in the building that night. That motherfucker died. I'm just sad because like everyone thought it was a shoot in real. And the next day, like Carino went online to like One Wrestling or one of those popular sites back in the day. I was like, oh, it was a work. I was like, dude, you fucking worked everybody. Why, why do it? Alright, come on, boys. There we go. Was, was that a show you promoted? No, I, I was just a photographer. I did not promote that show. I covered it, but I did not promote it. You know, when I first started, I covered a lot of IPW. And they brought in some big stars. Oh, come on. But me and Hashimoto had a couple moments. Like, I gave him black, black gum from Japan. And he's like, do you know the Japanese? And I'm like, no, I don't. I live in Japan. And they're like, how do you live in Japan, not the Japanese? I'm like, I don't know, man. I just watch, I just stream on. All right. Oh, come here, come here. Ah, red shoes, don't pull me out. All right, here we go. Can I, can I go in? Fuck you! Who fucking requested a six-man tag? I love my audience, but this is getting ridiculous. Alright, is anyone fucking even thinking about tagging me? Right, are, you, are you even considering it? I, have you even thought about tagging the fucking champ? New Japan is coming to New York in September. I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go. It's my best time to go. Yeah, that's gonna be awesome. So, alright, let me see. The Osprey, Alpha Tasmo, and Robbie Eagle storyline has been great. I think New Japan made another star with Eagles. I think so. He's got a lot of potential. I want to see what he can do. Uh, New Japan is coming to New York in September. Sweet. Alright. Uh, you know what? This is Rapungi 3K managed by Okada. Where am I supposed to stand? Here? I just say, hey, give me the tag. Give me the tag. Oh shit, I should help my friends. Oh fuck it, fuck my friends. They don't tag me. As on your fucking own. Give me the tag. Give me the tag. You can do it. I believe in you. Alright. 
So far, Osprey is the rest of the year. Yeah, I... I don't know, there's... it's close, but yeah. But, in defense of all Japan, Noah, and Dragon Gate, I have not been watching much of it. But I heard wonderful things about all Japan. Alright, motherfucker, can you just give me a tag, man? Just give me a fucking tag. Come on. Tag me in. Tag me in. See, this... Oh, that was the worst tag team move of all time. Come on, Musketeers. Alright, alright. Yeah, 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 yeah! I'm in, I'm in! Everyone calm the fuck down. I'm never tagging again. Right, excuse me, Hashimoto? Oh, what the fuck is that? You're a fucking real dick, Hashimoto. There we go. Go fuck yourself. Yeah, you're like I'm gonna fucking tag you idiots again. Fuck, I don't wanna, I wanna be on the fucking apron for another 50 fucking minutes. I'd rather fucking lose. I gotta start a pay-per-view. This is only the goddamn pre-show. Oh, come on, dick nuts. Oh, Hashimoto, you're such a prick. I should tag out. <laughs> For those that don't know, I'm controlling Okada. And this is an Okada pay-per-view. So I'll be Okada the whole night. Big fucking boo! Oh. We're playing 3K. It's cool, dude. I, I can go against the three greatest fucking Japanese wrestlers of all time on my own. There we go. Let's let's fucking wear this motherfucker down. All right, all right, cool, 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 cool. Stop him! Oh, there's fucking green mist and everything. All right, all right, good, 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 good. Big boot to you. Big boot to you. The big boot, by the way, is totally op in this. There we go. Fuck it. Do fucking run faster, RB. Yeah, 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 yeah. Call, tap out, tap out. Can I make the great mood to tap out? Two of my favorite wrestlers of all time in the ring right now. Only on Twitch. Oh, Jesus. I always want to say Twitch Thunder. There was no Twitch Thunder this week because I was busy at work with stupid real life. Holy shit. Mood almost fucking got me. I'm just going to breathe over here. Yeah, let's fucking... There we go. Stretch him out a little bit. Stretch him out. Okay, it's cool, dude. Yeah, it's... Fuck me over. Alright, there we go. Alright, yeah. Do, if I can do something to hurt him. There we go. Give him some of that. What the fuck, Muda? You no selling bitch. Alright. Muda doesn't fucking sell a power bomb, but I sell a fucking missed drop kick for 12 fucking years. Come here. I'm gonna fucking choke you out, buddy. Alright, someone stop him. Someone stop him. You gotta, you gotta be faster, dude. You're younger. You're lighter, you're faster. Oh, fucking DDT for you, Hashimoto. I wanted to pin fucking uh, Muda, but I'll have to pin another. Oh, shit. Drop me in one fucking punch. Embarrass me, Hashimoto. Embarrass me in front of Twitch. This ain't a good way to start off a pay-per-view. This is only the pre-match. This is like Sunday Night Heat. This is the Facebook, YouTube, Twitch free match. Is it even pay-per-view? All right, here we go. All right, Ray, you fucking, you fucking, oh god! If I was goddamn Jay White, I would have ducked that, and you guys would have made a documentary about it. All right, come on, boys. All right, here we go. What do we got? What do we got? Fucking big boot! Oh shit! Big boot! Yeah! Big boot is so fucking OP in this. Hurry up, you fucking assholes! I'm gonna hide behind my friends because I'm a coward. No, don't fucking tag. This is gonna be the longest fucking match ever. There. Oh, Jesus Christ. Come on, boys. Get up. Get up. Alright, a little fucking cutter for you. That's it. I'll fucking cutter you and wear you the fuck down. Alright, well, yeah, yeah. Now we're working them in the corner. There we go. Alright, we got ourselves a fucking strategy here. We got ourselves a strategy. Little fucking... Oh, Jesus. Don't kick me in the fucking head, dick. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Oh, shit. You talking about the far Sowa guy? Uh, I'm not sure what you're talking about. Are you talking about... What does J.W.H. documentary keep mentioning? I've never seen... I don't know. I have no idea. Someone sent me a documentary and they're like, oh, this will change your opinion on Jay White. And it's like really common. And it's really just a fucking suck job. 
It's like, oh, look how he ducks the elbow. Look, like, yeah, fucking. I'd like to make the same documentary, like, on Kane. Oh, shit. I thought I had him. I thought I had Hashimoto. All right, whatever, dude. That guy's not even fucking legal. You, you do whatever you want, Hashimoto. I'll watch this little Disney saw this tonight. Yeah! All right, let's pin him. You guys, guys, hurry the fuck up. Shit. Hashimoto's got heart and determination. Oh, Rainmaker into a Boston Crab. Guys, 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 come on, 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 come on. Yes, yes. All right, give up, give up. Hashimoto, why do you have so much heart and determination? Oh, don't. Jesus Christ, you chopped me into fucking yesterday. You can't fucking hit Okada that hard. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Don't give up, Okada. All right, get up, you son of a bitch, because Coco loves you. All right. Oh. There we go. All right, here we go, here we go. God damn, why do these legends have heart? Rainmaker! Into it! Shit, shit, he's hurt. We gotta give me faster than Hashimoto. You gotta be faster than Hashimoto. Give up, give up, Masawa. Give up, you're not even supposed to be in the match. I accidentally put you in by accident. Alright, there's a cutter. Let's fucking drop kick this motherfucker. Uh, we got this, we got this. Come on, come on. This is the seriously the longest opening match ever. Alright, boys, help me out. Help me out. Thank you. Alright, yeah, do a move. Oh, Jesus. Mood is fucking whooping our ass over here. Alright, alright. Oh, ducked it. Fucking cutter. Jesus, don't kick me in the head, buddy. Can you not do that? Get used to these multi-man tags and fighting road. Well, you know what? I'm going to say an unpopular opinion here. Fuck fighting road. Boys, you got to stop them. The, the, the big boot is so OP in this game. Like, for real, the you have a better chance. You legit have a better chance at beating a, a wrestler with the big boot than the Rainmaker. It doesn't even make sense. All right, you want some of this? Pa pow OP! Learned it from Kevin Nash. Pa pow All right, be fast to the booty, you fucks! Yeah! Oh, and he got missed! You took one for the team, Rubungi 3 k You took one for the team! Ah! Oh, I learned, on in this dimension, I learned the big fucking boot. Yeah! Hopefully, Wrestler Anthony gives us a high ranking. All right, now we're going to get to the gimmick. 100%! Holy shit! I think that's like the fourth or fifth one that's ever happened. Wrestling Ranted just gave us 100%. Wow. This, you know what? I don't feel so bad. This was the greatest fucking match ever. I shouldn't be such a bitch and complain so much. That's We learned a valuable lesson here. All right? A, follow me on Twitch. But we learned a more valuable lesson. B, I should have bitch, man. That was a 36 match, 36 minute match, 100%. Bear friend, just got 100% fire pro. Larry's losing his shit in the background. All right, there you go. They better impress us wrestling games on PS5. I agree. I request the first title defense against Surfer Sting. That's a possibility. I was going to do it against Tanahashi, but maybe Tanahashi can be main event. All right, you want Surfer Sting? There we go. Let's let's get rid of these guys. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. And the U.S. title will be on the line. Make sure I'm controlling Okada because for some reason... Fucking, I, I don't know, I love this game with all my heart, but some of the glitches really bust my balls. I deleted a bunch of guys, and I have to delete more. Because I've downloaded too many. Because, you know, I have a PlayStation 5 and bought a $200 version of the game. That's what I want to fucking hear. Jesus Christ, how many Jake Roberts do I have? I gotta delete some of those. Alright, let's go see Sting. Yeah, I downloaded a fuck. I have a PlayStation Pro, barely any fucking games... And pay $200 for the fucking game. That equals you get a limit to how many fucking guys you can download. No, that, that means you fucking suck. Alright, there we go. Sting 90s version 2. Do we have American Sting? That's kind of close. We got G.I. Joe Sting. I don't remember Sting looking like that. Alright, USA Sting. We got Lightning Sting. Turtle Sting. Alright, that's kind of close to Sting. Alright. 
There we go. What about you? Fucking crow sting. Get the fuck. You should be embarrassed of yourself. I hate fucking sting crow. There. I'm glad I said it. I'm glad it's out there. You know. All white? Let's go all white. There we go. Sting for the US title. Bash at the beach. WCW. American heroes are making it happen. This has been the worst generation of gaming ever. Uh, maybe. I don't know. I took a long break. I stopped playing PlayStation 2 and then just recently got a PlayStation Pro. So, I have over 500 things downloaded, but was never told to delete anything. Yeah, fuck. Dude, if I meet the guys that fucking program this, I bought it on day one for 200 American goddamn dollars. In a week, it was down to $40, and the fucking game has a lot of glitches in it. If I could just have a sit-down interview with the fucking guys that made this game. Like, I, I would even pay. I would pay. I'd pay 2,000 American dollars to sit down and fucking reprogram the game and yell at them. It's just... Just few things. Alright, the IWGP US title is on the line, folks. It's gonna be on the line all night long. Alright, let's see. This has been... Uh, I was never a Sting fan. I like Joker, Sting, and TNA. See, I only like the original Sting. Once he turned to Crow, I was like, eh... In front of me. Sit down. They're in any chairs. Sit the lightning down. Exactly. Hopefully I'm controlling Okada. If not, I'm going to be so sad. And here comes Sting. 90 Sting. I wish he was decked out in his USA gear, but hey, it's close enough. I'll make him bleed to add the red, white, and blue. And look how happy Sting is. Good for him. And here comes Okada. Alright, we're in Madison Square Garden. I will just say we're in Dallas. Oh, did you see that timing? That timing was beautiful. All right, let's do it. Yo! Yeah, I'm a big fan of the stinger. Until he turned in cry. Soon, I remember as a little kid. I don't know. I wasn't that little, but I was kind of little. I just remember. I was like, I fucking love Sting. He came out as the crow. I was like, that's the dumbest fucking thing I've ever seen in my life, and never liked him after. And that's like the period that he's loved the most. But I like Clash of Champions 1 Sting. I like Great American Bash Sting. Where it's all decked out in USA clothes. Can you, can you stop fucking doing this thing? Sting. I love you man, but stop being a... Stop being a dick. Alright. The US title is on the line all night long. This is the start of the pay-per-view. The 100%. That was, that was on free television to try to get you to buy it. Oh shit! This is all in a fictional world. Let's go Sting. How fucking dare you. There we go. Alright. Uh, I like server Sting. I can't stand JR, most overrated person. Oh, dude, we agree with that. I'm actually making a list. Um, I'm making- I'm gonna make a top 10 blog of unpopular opinions. I absolutely despise JR. And it's pretty high on the list of unpopular opinions. I just don't think he's a good person, and I think he's overrated. So, yeah, there's that. Just in case you wanted to know, or, or spoil it to my un, unpopular opinions show. Oh, maybe I should add Sting, Crow Sting, onto the unpopular opinions. I'm gonna call it Grandpa Coco's Unpopular Opinions. I put that on the list. I'm putting it on the list. Sting, give up so I don't have to fucking see you. Sting. Oh, shit. That was really loud. Sorry. I reversed it. Alright. It's a lot easier when I don't have fucking 900 legends running in. There we go. Caprice Coleman is underrated announcer. I hope New Japan brings him back. Yeah. Ranella is my favorite. If I mispronounced his name, I'm sorry, but he's the best. Uh, nowadays, Ranello and NXT is the best in the world. I agree with that 157%. Even though Kelly has really improved. Alright, come on. Striker's really good when he's not doing New Japan. I don't know, I've seen him, I, it doesn't, he doesn't look that good in CMLL. He does really good in Lucha, and I thought he did good in Dota B. There we go. Come on, Sting, we're gonna stay on top of it. 
Kelly Kevin has Kelly Kelly has done a lot of new New Japan. Yeah, 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 a lot for New Japan. I agree. I never thought from his days in WWE to now that I'd be a Kevin Kelly guy. But I like Kevin Kelly. But my favorite of all time is probably Joey Styles. I like Fernell a lot. I like Paul Heyman a lot. But I also grew up a huge ECW fan, so that's probably not too big of a surprise. Kevin Kelly is a New York Mets fan, so we instantly can bond and click with that. Well, that's almost as close as being best friends. Oh shit, come on. Don't fuck it. Oh, what a dick, Sting. Sting. Oh shit! Oh god, I have the heart and determination to break out his- Oh, he does have red in his face. So this is American Sting. For the Great American Bash. American Sting. He did it for a- Okada, seriously, I'm pressing the fucking buttons as hard as I can. If you could fucking get the fuck out of this, I'd appreciate it, man. Now, right, you want some fucking little boots? You want some oh, what about a fucking pile driver? Pa -pow. You want some of that? You get some of this. Remember the Sting vs. Vader matches in WCW? I sure do. They were fucking amazing. Alright, here we go. Now, what are we gonna do? Alright, dance. Oh, missed the big boot. But, oh, fuck, reversing my Rainmaker. Little boot? Can I win this on a little boot? Oh, that would have been the most anticlimactic finish ever. Come on, boys. I don't know why I'm saying boys. Come on, Mr. Okada. You can do it. Alright, let me breathe. It seems. Oh, I'm just gonna fucking breathe. I'm gonna breathe. <sighs> Catch his breath. Everything's fine. Let's get the crowd into this. Sting, don't fucking hit me. Thank you. I appreciate it. You're a true gentleman. Rainmaker! Can we finish it? One, two. Oh, son of a biscuit and cheese! Alright, alright. You want the OP. Big boot, we want another Rainmaker, a drop kick, whatever man, ok Okada controls me, I don't control Okada. Little fucking kicks to the face, little fucking there, oh let's do a fucking macho man. Oh yeah! Fucking, can we end it on a macho man? Can we end it on a macho man? We just ended it on a macho man. Fuck yeah, alright, thank you for coming American Stinger. Yeah, I heard Vader was super popular in Japan back in the 80s. Fuck yeah, he was. It was crazy over. So, yeah. I kind of wish he had a better run in WWF. And, well, he had a good run in WCW. 80%. This has been a pretty good pay-per-view. The free match was 100%. 80%. Wrestling Ranton showing some love. By the way, in this universe, Wrestling Ranton rates our matches. I don't know if Wrestling Ranton knows that he does this, but he does. Alright, who we got next for an American superstar? So, or a former U IWGP US champ. Uh, saying Guile? Guile's from America. Hey, Guile. Oh, we have to go. Hold on, let's see. We'll have to go Sergeant Slaughter. We have to go Sergeant Slaughter. I'm sorry. It, it won't be an American bash without Sergeant Slaughter. This Sergeant Slaughter or this Sergeant Slaughter? Oh, this one's a real American hero. Of course we're gonna go to this one. There we go. Alright, there we go. Sergeant Slaughter. I request Kenny Omega since he was the first IWGP US champ. Alright, Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Alright, we got it. We're gonna go Sergeant Slaughter, then Hacksaw. Wait, I gotta start writing these down, boys. I'm gonna you know I'm gonna forget this like in ten minutes. Alright. There we should have a list option or something. Right, what do we got here? Up, oh, I got too much crap. This is embarrassing. This is good streaming, right, guys? All right. So what do we got? Hacksaw, Omega, Dean Ambrose is the U.S. champ now. Um, let's see. We'll get Dusty in there. Hogan. All right. There we go. Uh, Juice Robinson. All right, we'll get Juice in there. I'm not scared. Let's see, any other request? Big Mox is going to do good in Japan? I hope so. I think he will. Um, especially him being the way he is right now. In WWE Moxley, I would probably fucking second guess that. Yeah, so there you go. Juice Robinson. 
You need to have Mr. America Hogan. We'll try to make it happen. All right, first Sergeant Slaughter, okay? We got we got respect. And then we got Corporal Kishner. Trying to think who else. Kill shot. I don't know. That's more military guy. But, you know, he's, he was a Marine, alleged, according to storyline. So there we go. All right, here comes Sergeant Slaughter, a real American hero on the Great American Bash. Is the U.S. title on the line? I don't think it is. <laughs> Whoopsie! John Cena? Yeah, we can put John Cena. He's a Marine. John Cena's going to go level one now. Let's be honest. He should be fucking... Get the fuck out of here. All right, hold on. Let's put make sure the U.S. title's on the line. It's the first time I've ever messed this up. All right? There we go. All right, here we go. We're just going to skip the entrance. Cena the fake Marine. Exactly. Yes, level one Cena is perfect. All right. We'll, we'll do that. We'll make sure there's a level one Cena. All right, here we go. The IWGP U.S. title is on the line against a real American hero. Oh, shit. He knows my kryptonite. In this game and in real life, a punch to the belly is my kryptonite. So if we ever get into a fight and you want to win, you got to punch me in the belly. All right? Ah! So yeah, you can't punch me in the head in real life or this. Punch me in the head. I've been punched in the head so much. Ah, oh, not the belly punch. I'm Slaughter. We're just doing this as a gimmick match. This is supposed to be an easy fucking match. All right, let's choke him in the fuck out. Let's choke him out, Sergeant Slaughter. If you got any American requests, please tell me. Bow. Former U.S. champs and former U.S. gimmick guys. Oh, uh, that's what we're working for. Uh, they got. I think I downloaded Gung Ho from GI Joe too. We got Guile. He's American. American badass Undertaker. Jay White. All uh, right, we'll have a level one Jay White match too. <laughs> All right. I think you forgot to control Okada. Yep. There we go. No, I'm controlling Okada. Oh, shit! Slaughter! Mr. Counter! Holy fuck. Oh, shit. There we go. You want some fucking macho man? Ah, oh, don't get up, you dick! Listen, guy. I don't know if you know this, but it's Okada's Great American Bash. Alright? You're supposed to put me over? <laughs> Don't be a dick about this. Oh, shit. All right. There we go. Everything's a cutter. The Okada cutter. Okada's a star. He always more over than Omega. I I agree with that. Uh, though, Ome the only thing I love Okada more than any human being alive. Alright, if Okada's the most conceited person in the world, he still doesn't love him as much as me. His wife? Get the fuck out of here. His mom? Get out of here. No one loves him more than me. But, dude, his gear sucks. Omega had way better gear. Like, that's what they... Like, remember when they teased Okada joined Bullet Club? It was like a short skit that could have been awesome. Um... I was so rooting for Okada to join Bullet Club, because then Okada would have awesome gear. Or not gear, but I'm sorry. Uh, awesome, uh... Well, gear, but gear for the fans. Awesome merch. That's the word I'm looking for. I love Okada, and I buy all his merch. But Jesus Christ, his merch sucks. And that's coming from the biggest Okada fan in the world. <laughs> There you go. Rainmaker! Oh, that's my go-to. Digital Okada's Rainmaker into the Boston Crab. That's his go-to move, folks. So, yeah. All right, we'll have to get American Badass a taker. There we go. Taker. Oh, shit. I was writing down. If I lose the title because I was writing it down, that's going to be kind of shitty. All right, come on, Slaughter. Don't fucking do this to me, man. Look, I am pressing the fucking buttons, bro. What do you want me to do, man? You you have to do something, Okada. You gotta fucking help me out here, buddy. Alright, I can't fucking do everything. I mean, I'm pressing buttons. What more do you want from me? Oh, come on, Slaughter. Slaughter, seriously, this was supposed to be a fun gimmick match. Alright, it's like, oh, we fucking respect you. You're a G.I. Joe. 
Oh shit, 2.9. Brainmaker! I guess we could do Cody. He's the American Nightmare. And he's won US titles before. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. There you go. Make it fucking happen. Tell Bear Friend I pre-ordered my copy of Catherine Full Body. Please, Dave. She'll know what I mean. Bear Friend, did you hear that? She said yeah. Tag match. Okada and Mustache for Cody and Dusty. Alright. You guys like the tag matches, so maybe we'll make it happen. Plus, I was bitching a lot for that pre-show six-man match, but then I don't get many 100% matches, so maybe I should stop bitching. We learned a valuable lesson today. I bitch too much. No one ever knew that before this stream. <laughs> one, two. Oh, slaughter with the heart and determination. And if you have her, put Brandy in Cody and Destiny's code. She's hot as fuck. I do have Brandy. And we'll make it happen. I only know this because I'm deleting a lot to try to get new guys. But man, do I have to do a lot. Oh, the big boot is OP in this game, folks. Sorry, Slot, I respect you. But it's over. It's over. Alright, next. 74%. Alright, Wrestling Ranton's getting tired of this American theme. How dare you, Wrestling Ranton. How dare you. After all we've been through. Alright. Let's get Hacksaw out of the way. Axel Jim Duggan. Oh, there's Corporal Krishner. Should we give him a shot? He's a corporal. Uh, who am I supposed to be getting? What's going on? Oh, Hacksaw. All right, there we go. There's Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Oh, he loves USA. She wears Olympic. Oh, Kurt Angle. How the fuck do we fucking not put Kurt Angle on the list? Am I the only one that feels fucking foolish? Does the fuck when I write on it with this pen, does it sound like a goddamn thing's going? Woohoo! Rusty Ramen has followed us on the road to 70 followers. Appreciate it, Rusty Ramen. You're the man. Alright, Kurt Angle gear, regular hacksaw. Alright, let's let's go old school. Let's go just uh, we'll get we'll get Kurt Angle to be Kurt Angle. There we go. Welcome to yeah, we stream different sports every day. Every Thursday, we speak, uh, stream Twitch Thunder. I live in Japan, and I love video games. Rusty Ramen, much love. I appreciate it, man. So, yeah, I'm a big fan. Big fan of the follows. What do we got here? All right. Oh, fuck. Did I forget to put the title on the line? Why does it know to do that automatically? Come on, don't be a fucking dick. And oh, now I'm not controlling Okada. This is fucking programmed perfectly. There's no fucking flaws at all. I'm glad I bought it on day one for $200. I regret nothing. I regret everything. What did it cost you? Everything. Everything. All right. How accurate is G.I. Joe into your experience in Marines? It's 100%. If you're like, man, I wonder what it's like to join a Marine Corps. It's just like G.I. Joe. That and Metal Slug. That's exactly what it's like. I, I was a Marine. I was infantry. And I would never lie to you. G.I. Joe was a documentary. <laughs> it's not a documentary. Uh, yeah. I don't think Hollywood or TV shows gets being a Marine right. They just get certain scenes right. You're like, oh shit, that was real. But a lot of times you're like, ah, oh, this is kind of ridiculous. But there's moments. Oh shit, can you stop fucking punching me, Hacksaw? I'm telling my, my old school Marine Corps days. Yeah. Oh, the fucking belly button. Punisher? 100%. Every, <laughs> every, no. Uh. No, that's a lot of fantasy. So. There you go. Know what Hollywood doesn't get right? When you're a Marine? There's a lot of waiting around. Like in these TV shows, it just seems like there's 24 hours of killing. Oh, man. I mean, th there's killing. But there's a lot of waiting to kill. I mean, should Punisher get a little a title shot? Oh! I don't know, maybe. Punisher? Oh, Captain America should. 
I don't know about Punt. I mean, but, you no, know, he's a Marine. He should fucking get it. I thought you meant he's inaccurate as far as being in the Marine Corps. My answer to everything when someone asks me, is it accurate? I just say 100%. All right, I thought for a second I gave up the fucking Hacksaw's head. <laughs> I thought I gave up the Hacksaw Jim Duggins. Holy shit. Are you trying to fucking Rainmaker me, you bitch? Holy shit. Oh, fuck yeah. Holy fuck. Maybe Punisher shouldn't get it. Captain America definitely should. I mean, it's the Great American Bash. What, what pay-per-view was Robocop on? Was that Great American Bash? Starcade? I don't know. Trivia question. What pay-per-view was Robo Robocop on? I wish that was a fucking, uh, sarcasm. But no, Robocop really showed up in WCW. And it was amazing. It was absolutely horrible. But it was amazing and horrible. Oh, come on. Stop punching me in the belly. Hacksaw. For real, dude. I don't know what the fuck is going on. Wait, really? I respect you, but what the fuck? Ah, oh, Jesus Christ, Hacksaw. Alright, Hacksaw. I didn't know you were going to be a fucking dick about this, man. Alright, I didn't know you were going to try to fucking win on the Great American Bash. Embarrass me in front. Trying to win the goddamn US title. Alright, what, what what button do I have to press to get the fuck out of this? I'm here, I'm pressing all the goddamn buttons, and these this motherfucker's like, No! There. Fucking stretch you out, old man. I, I like to believe this is Hacksaw in his prime. Did Hacksaw ever have a prime? Oh, that was mean. I love you, Hacksaw, but... I don't think Wrestling Riot is going to give us a high rate. There! Oh, you just no sold the big boot! How dare you not fucking respect Mr. Nash's big boot? How fucking dare you? There we go. Oh, fucking dropkick coming in, folks. Pow, pow Oh, there we go. Yeah, I got a pre-order NHL and Madden. Yeah, I'm taking this streaming stuff pretty seriously. I really love it. So... It's weird, because now that I stream, I never play video games offline. It just feels like a fucking waste of time. Oh, Jesus. Don't do that to me, man. Don't do that to me. Oh, there we go. Oh, shit. Okay, 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 okay. Everyone calm the fuck down. Macho Man! I'm gonna pretend I hit that. Let's just pretend. Let's let's use our imagination, kids. Alright, fuck you and a big boot. Alright, you're pissing me off with this whole fucking trying shit, Hacksaw. Jesus Christ, your heart and determination's pissing me off. I This is one thing I hate about the game. Like, when did someone kick out of something, and then they sold it? They're like, holy shit, he kicked out so fucking hard that I gotta fucking sell it. Yeah, when? When the fuck did it happen? Never. That's when the fuck it happened. Get your shit together, Fire Pro. Uh, I love you, Fire Pro, but I also hate you. It's a love-hate relationship. I'm a passionate person. That's all over the place. Come on, boy. No, I was about to say, come on, boys. I gotta stop saying, come on, boys. This ain't a team sport. This is just you. I knew I was gonna miss, but I still had to- JESUS CHRIST! When the fuck did Axel ever do that? My memory's failing me. Just fuck it. Let's just end it. If I can DDT, old school. Okay, Axel. Jesus fucking Christ. I, I appreciate you having heart and determination. But seriously, you're fucking embarrassing me. You're embarrassing me in front of Rusty Rama. You ever think about that? No. You just think of yourself, you fucking prick. Alright, everyone calm down. Alright, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, shit. Fuck. Ah, oh, don't punch me in the belly. Alright. I'm actually getting a little frustrated with Axel. Axel, you're getting under my skin, man. If I lose the US title to you, God, Bear Friend will leave me. I don't want my girlfriend to leave me. Do you want that, Axel? Seriously, what fucking button do I have to press? There we go. All right, I'm gonna choke you to fuck out. Listen, we're going big boot, big boot into Rainmaker pose, into Rainmaker one, two, three. All right? There we go, bit. Oh. Did you not call- I just called my fucking spots, dick nuts. Alright, there we go. Perfect! Now, Rainmaker. Alright, I said Rainmaker. Alright. You're not even listening to the fucking spots. You're very unprofessional, Hacksaw. Very unprofessional. Alright, this is going on in the fucking net. Alright, Hacksaw's dangerous to work with. 
They probably called regular people. Uh, hold on, let me see. I don't know where they're going with this. I'll read your live comments in a second. Let me fucking hit a rainmaker and end this. All right, dick nuts. I'm not fucking paying attention to comments because you're putting too much heart and determination. All right. Okada, don't sell anything. You're a fucking Okada. You don't need to sell anything. DDT, just get up, breathe. Breathe, and we're gonna hit him with a big fucking boot, all right? Here we go. Oh, yeah! You know what? I'm not even gonna end the fucking Rainmaker. We're just ending it right fucking now. You're being a little too. Jesus fucking Christ! This is the greatest fucking moment in Hacksaw Jim Duggan's fucking life. It's the greatest moment of his life. Oh, he just gave up. Over here in America, people who are obsessed with Japan are called Weeboots. What are Japanese people who are obsessed with America called? I don't know. They're probably just called regular people. Yeah. I don't think they have a name. Bear friend! Bear friend, are you sleeping? We have a question about the Japanese. Bear friend, she's... Bear friend. You didn't even hear the question. Bear friend just went with, I don't know. Bear friend, you know Americans that love Japanese? You know, we call them Super Gaijin and Weebos. What do we call Japanese people that love America? Bear friends? <laughs> it's Bear friend said it's called her aunt. So there you go. And Golden Star says Kanichiwa, senpai. So there you go. Yeah. Holy shit. You know what? I like the hard determination Hacksaw had there. I do. I really appreciate that. You know, and I appreciate Wrestle Ryan to give us a good 85%. Alright, Hacksaw's done. What do we got next? You wanna go Taker, Omega, Angle, Juice, Captain America, Dusty, Cody, Omega, Dean Ambrose. Alright. Tai Chi. Tai Chi has nothing, uh, not, nothing to do with America. No Tai Chi. You gotta admit an American theme to it. As if be a former US. Juice. Tai Chi. Alright, if you can convince me, King Darkwing Duck, that somehow Tai Chi can be an, um, an American thing. Right, what'd you want? Juice. My bear friend, your favorite wrestler. And it's for the title. Juice Robinson. Where are you, Juice? How do you spell Juice? Uh oh. Do we have Juice Robinson? Oh, there he is. Everyone calm down. We have Juice Robinson. I learned how to spell juice. Oh, he's got American gear on. Perfect. That's it. US titles on the line. He's wearing the American gear. Let's make it happen. Uh, Taichi's the man. He's an American style heel. He just doesn't speak English. Juice is already in a New Japan roster. I know this. We've made this mistake before. Alright, well, you get an American juice, okay? This is American juice. Some Tropicana OJ. Man, it's a lot. If I just tap my desk, it's like an echo. Sorry if I, every time I tap the desk, gentlemen. Aw, oh, that's kind of sexist. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to believe the lady's watching. All right, there we go. Juice Robinson and his American gear are at the Great American Bash. Can he win the U.S. title back? See, there's a connection. Oh, but I'll, maybe I can put Tai Chi as the level one guy for uh, Thursday night Twitch Thunder. King Darkwing Duck, I'm going to hard sell you. Are, did you hit the follow button yet, sir? Did you hit the follow button? Rusty Ramen hit the follow button. Did you? Hard sell. Hard sell. Alright. Woohoo! King Darkwind Duck followed us! The hard sell worked! <laughs> yep, so King Darkwing Duck, you're the man. You are the man, sir. I love you. I take this Twitch stuff pretty seriously. We are now family. So if you make a family tree, please put me in it. Didn't realize that was a follow button. It's okay, man. It's okay. I'm glad you did it, man. We're on the, we're on the road to 80. Or 70. I don't know. Where are we at? Hold on. Let me check. Oh. I was gonna check. Can I... Can you... Can you stop fucking fighting back, Juice? 
I wanted to see how many fucking followers we had. Oh, there we go. All right. Woohoo! Da da da! There you go. Pin. Yeah, we're bringing the podcast. We're probably bringing everything here, and YouTube in the future will just be an archive. So, this is the future of our company. Or, aka, my passion. Rainmaker into a fucking Boston Crab. There we go, folks. That's the digital move of the century. Dude, all I know is if he ever does a Rainmaker into a Boston Crab, we gotta just start a Coco Sports chant, okay? Can, can we have that happen? And fun... Perfect. This game make, will make you hate drop kicks. Big boots are invincible. If you hit them. Alright, there we go. What do we got? One! Two! Alright, Juice. Where you at? I was a, I'm a little shocked that Juice wasn't more over in Dallas. Oh, come on! Come on, man. I'll pay you a dollar. Just let me kick out. Is there a secret that I don't know? Or do I just suck? First time on Twitch. Well, I appreciate it that you came here for me, man. Twitch should be paying me more. I converted one person. I'm like the ninja of Twitch. I think ninja's the ninja of Twitch, but that's not the point. Uh... Tell Bear Friend I'm gonna play this shit out of Catherine. You'll you'll never see it coming. Dude, she referenced that fucking game so much. But we might have to play it on here. Because I think Saturdays and Sundays, we're gonna have adventures with Bear Friends. Because all week it's gonna be a sports thing. And I think we're gonna do non-sports games and call it Adventures with Bear Friend. Bear Friend, you in on that? Adventures with Bear Friends? Alright. I know we're going to do Final Fantasy VII, but maybe we'll do Persona, because I think that's mentioned in the chat more times than on this stream than on Persona streams. We just downloaded Detroit Become Human. I I don't know if that's the title. I'm thinking about maybe doing that. Is that just story? Or do you have to actually do something? The big boot is OP. See you later, Juice. Bear friend, I hope you still love me. I beat your favorite wrestler. And I gotta find a way to write and not fucking make it sound like an earthquake. I request Bear Friend plays Kathy in full body. I'll play co-op with her. Oh, Bear Friend. We're getting some online invitations. If Okada does a Rainmaker and a Boston Crab, Okada is confirmed to watch Coco Sports on here. Yeah, because ta the Tanahashi Okada storyline happened first in this dimension. Hashtag Coco Plays did it first. Hashtag Coco Sports did it first. Hashtag, Oka I'd like to believe Okada watches us. <laughs> if he hits the fucking Rainmaker and goes straight into a Boston Crab, no one will mark out harder than me. I'd be like, he loves me. He really, really loves me. All right, Juice is gone. Who do we got next? Cena, level one. White, level one. Taker. American Hogan. Captain America. Tag match. Omega. Dean Ambrose. Cena level one. All right. Let's fucking be level one. And then we'll do Jay White after that. Because I beat these motherfuckers so many times. They don't they don't deserve anything in life. Hashtag still hate John Cena. Uh, hey, John McClane? He's an American hero. Uh, where's John Cena? How do you, John, how the fuck do you spell your name? There you are. Only one John Cena. Do we got an American John Cena? Oh, we got USA pants or camouflage. That's kind of close. I'm going camouflage. That's close enough. He pretends to be a Marine. All right. Uh, let's see. Did you see the Okada Cena hybrid face poster in the crowd? No, I kind of... Send me it on Twitter. I'd like to actually see it. The Cena's Marine gimmick offend you since you were a Marine? A little bit. I'm not a big fan of the dog tags. I'm not a big fan of the salute. But um, one time he gave a promo and um, uh, Cynical, who's also a streamer and a podcaster and used to do it back in the day. Um, me and him were both veterans. 
and there was a raw promo where someone like gave him his medal of honor and it was beyond disrespectful i think we did like a two hour fucking rant on it because he was an army infantry and i was marine corps infantry and like okay kissing the dog tag salute like it's it's kind of bullshit but all right uh, maybe they hate it but to go out there and be like i got a medal of honor and it was i like this story was so fucking ridiculous I actually think WWE apologized for it. I'm, I could be wrong. They should. Oh, fuck. I forgot to control Okada. Do you have a purple heart? No. Snake Pillskin is the most underrated action hero ever. All right. So, no, I don't have a purple heart. That's more political than you think. Uh, because I forget. I forget why I don't have a purple heart. I didn't really fight that hard, but yeah, I have a puppy heart. <laughs> Bear friend says I have a puppy hat. I'm going to ask you my friend if Cena's Marine character offends him. He comes to pick me up in a minute. All right. So I don't know if it offends everybody. I, and I'm more, I hate him and it's kind of offensive, but if you could look up the dog, uh, not the dog tag, the medal of honor promo. That was fucking ridiculous. Like, it was... This motherfucker thinks he's a fucking Marine. Yeah, like, I remember, like, it was someone in the hospital, he visited him, and he's like, he gave me his Medal of Honor. And I was just like, are you fucking for real? Is this fucking real life? There we go. Oh, did I put him on level one? Is this motherfucker still on level four? I think he's still on level four. Hold on. Did I put him on level one? I'm too worried that it, I'm, I don't want to. I don't wanna give him an actual legit match. Let's find out if I stopped that match for no fucking reason. I stopped it for no reason, everybody. I stopped the match for no reason. Make sure to follow. <laughs> and you can see errors and bloopers like that all the time. Cena could have been the greatest wrestling villain ever, but they chose to shove the wrong version of him down our throats. Yeah, I agree. And I don't know. I just, it's just bad. The whole situation's bad. Yeah. Like there's something called, I think I, I could be wrong, but there's something called stolen valor where like people pretend to be Marines and they're not. And John Cena skirts that a lot. And the Medal of Honor thing was just... That... That was the fucking... That was the... And just, yeah. Cena's the ultimate WWE ass kisser, yeah. He's just not a good person. You know? Yeah. But you know what? I'll give Cena credit for this. We had a one-on-one -on -one conversation and I told him all my problems. And he was kind of cool to listen about it. He wasn't a dick. He didn't want to fucking fight. So. So for all those that are like, Oh, you would never say that to John Cena's face. I have. I've said it all to John Cena. But he took it with stride and he's like, well, you know, and the thing is he got me with the, well, what else am I supposed to do? You know, it's my responsibility. They gave it to me and I kind of fucking let him off light. I was like, I, it was one of the biggest regrets in life. I didn't even like your responsibility is to the craft and being a good fucking person. But, you know, it's one of those, you, you think of the perfect answer six years later. <laughs> but overall, considering that I just fucking said... As politely as could be, I hate everything he stands for. He was kind of cool about it. He wasn't cool about that guy fucking, uh... <laughs> showing a camera in his face, but I kind of understand that. But... Yeah, as long as... As long as John Cena never wrestles again... I'll go easy on him. RevTech, thank you for the host. Thank you for everything. Re RevTech fucking rocks. So RevTech tell me... And RevTech got me bits! 30 bits, bear friends! Appreciate it. Much love. RevTech set everything up. RevTech! My Mac every now and then freezes, but that's not the problem. Um, I tried to do the thing you set up, and there was just nothing on it. 
So I don't know what the situation is, so we'll check it out. I haven't tried the new graphics. Plus, I want to ask you a bunch of questions. RevTech is... RevTech is my... I'm, I'm young Peter Parker at Twitch, and he's my Tony Stark. He's going to die defeating Thanos. <laughs> One of my co-workers met Cena and said he was hella cool. Yeah, he's a really good people person. He really is. Um, you know, and... He's not a good person, but he's a good people person, if that makes sense. So. Yeah. Um, RevTech, appreciate it. I don't think Cena is a bad wrestler, just hugely overrated. Uh, I don't know. It, it's hard to say. Because it's kind of like the Jay White situation. He's got talent. He just doesn't have the talent where he was. You know, it's just... It's like... He could have... Like, in reality, he makes the roster... You know, I don't know. Everybody has good and bad sides. That's true. Rainmaker! That's the fucking move. That's my jam right there. Scene is good at the WCL of sports entertainment. Yeah, I, I guess. I don't know. I think that might be we're conditioned to think that. Oh, come on, Cena. Don't be a fucking dick about this. There we go. Fuck you, John Cena. Alright, he had a lot more heart than I thought. Um, I'm happy that John Cena retired from wrestling and WWE is going to TV 14. He's a Baron Corbin of New Japan, Jay White, in my opinion. I think Jay White is a million times better than Cena. I agree with that. Just, I don't think Cena sucks as much as the haters say he does. Still sucks, but it's overblown. Um, yeah, but the booking and being there, like, that's why it's hard, because, like, he does suck that bad to be in the main event spot over and over and over. But, like, I don't know, when you're at the... You know what I mean? It's like, if you throw three interceptions at a high school game, it's not that big a deal. You throw three interceptions in a goddamn Super Bowl, everyone fucking hates you. So it's like, he wasn't... He's not good enough to be on that big of a stage. Um... Cena, Cena's year-long title run was god-awful. Dude, when it was Dave, Batista, Orton, and Cena on top, that is by far the dark ages of pro wrestling. Uh, let's put the U.S. title on the line. Let's control Okada. From John Cena to the new John Cena. What do we got? Is Jay White here? Or do I have to fucking scroll around to find this asshole? There's Jay Briscoe. Oh, there he is. Jay White. Uh, we'll go red and white. It's America. It's America, you sons of bitches. After this, we'll go back to level four. Exactly. 100% agree with you on Cena. Yeah. Uh, when he's a motivated and a heel, Warren's pretty good. I I don't know. I've just seen too much of him. I don't think so. But as a baby says, he's probably the most boring guy ever. I mean, there's a lot of rumors that he will be um that he will be going to AEW. I think that will be a huge blow to AEW. I, I I hope that never fucking happens. Even if I'm wrong and he's awesome, I still don't want to fucking see it. This is one of the things I don't want to be wrong about. I just don't want to see him at all. You know, some people deserve a second chance in life. Orton is not one of them. In my opinion. Kind of fucking dark. Dude, you know how many times I've wrestled Jay White on this fucking stream? There we go. Um, I'm glad to see... Uh, we'll be back. Hold on. Keep your live comments coming. I'm going to try to balance this out equally. Oh, god damn you, Jay White! Did you not listen to the spot? Oh, you know Silk? Kevin Nash's big boot? There, fucking Boston Crab for you. 
I'm glad to see them go back to kind um, to kind of some violence in WWE. I have not watched it. I'm giving them to the end of August because I have a uh, two weeks off in August. If Heyman and Bishop's show is good midway through August, I will watch WWE one time to give it a shot. But I can't go back because they said shit and gave a finger. It's just not enough. Oh, the spirit of Yano lives in Jay White. There we go. Fucking. I did do a G1 Day 1 review. It's up on the Coco Sports YouTube channel. Please check it out. And I'm going to probably be doing more reviews. Uh, I don't want Orin and AEW at all. Yeah, I'll continue your comment in a second. Alright, come on. Oh, fucking drop kick. Here we go, here we go. I appreciate all the live comments, gentlemen. It really does make streaming a zillion times easier. And I'm definitely gonna get to all of them, so I apologize about the delay. You know, I just gotta defend my US title, the Great American Bash. Big fucking boo. There we go. Excuse me. Pardon me. Rainmaker! There, that's my jam! Look how fucking smooth that looks. Dear Real Okada, please hit that. Please hit that. Dude, if he does that at Wrestle Kingdom, I'm gonna shit my pants in pure excitement. There we go. The big boot in this motherfucker a lot. The big boot is definitely OP in this. And drop kicks are a fucking joke. Excuse me. Oh, we got a fucking shot me. Right. Rainmaker! Kick. Sorry, I'll just pin you. Small package. I respect you enough to small package you. Oh, okay, dick. DDT. There we go. Breathe. Breathe. Alright. 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 Can you stay down so I can read the fucking comments? I don't want Orton in AEW at all. I'd rather have Sheamus in AEW. And he bores me to sleep. Yeah, but here's the thing. About Sheamus. I'd like to see Sheamus. Sheamus is a weird dude. Sheamus is great at wrestling. If he's not successful. Like, when he was down in FCW and down in the indies, he was amazing. And then he started working out with w Triple H, and then for the longest time was just a bag of shit. Um, I'd like to actually see him there, see if he would try. Um, all right, hold on, we got a lot of comments here. I try not to judge wrestlers nowadays until I see them outside of WWE, even though I haven't watched WWE in seven years. Yeah, that's, that's, a, fair, that's a fair statement. How much stream will you do during those two weeks off? Every day, hopefully. Uh, I feel like AEW is too confusing. I like what Tony Khan says, but I feel like he's giving too much power to the elite. Possibility. It's, st it's still early on. I like everything they've done so far. Um, I ran you in an AEW, I think would be great. Kind of feel. 66%. Russell Ranton. Come on, bro. Give us a better rank. Randy, Randy Orton AEW I think would be gr great. Kind of like he he is the AJ Styles of WWE. AJ of TNA. No, God, no. That'd be horrible. Maybe he wants something different. Yeah, I heard Sheamus was great in FCW. I think he was. I like Sheamus. He, he had to be better outside WWE. I agree 110% on that. Who needs a push in WWE or just leave in Rusev? Uh, man, have you seen him in Instagram? He much better than in WWE. Oh, I can imagine. Kenny Omega level 4 now. Alright. Kenny Omega level 4. There we go. See you later, Jay White. Put the US title on the line. And Kenny Omega. There we go. Ninja Turtles? Black? Or blue? Oh, he's got a little bit of blue. Yeah, that's, a, that's American. I think he's the first ever US champ. Let me go get my Omega shirt on. Black and blue. Got it. Alright. So, Kenny Omega versus Rusev would be great in AEW. Yeah, yeah. Oh shit, I almost didn't control Okada. 
it's, I never do that on this channel. I always do that on my channel. Shit, go for it. Good. All right, gentlemen, everything's set up. I don't have to restart the match at for the millionth time. Yeah, god damn it. Sorry. <laughs> Hit the mic. I'm a fucking noob at this shit. Kenny Omega. The feud of all feuds. At least on this channel. There we go. Oh shit, reverse and shit. Alright, 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 alright. US title on the fucking line, folks. At the Great American Bash. The Canadian and the Japanese guy fighting for the US title. Look at Red Shoes, he's doing his part. Yeah, I don't want too many WWE guys. I just want a fed that has great wrestlers. I know that sounds kind of fucking greedy, but that's all I want. You know, you can have one comedy guy, you can have one big guy, and you can have one legend. The rest, just the best wrestlers in the fucking business. Oh shit. Stretch him out. I know I'm going to way in left field with this, but... All right, hold on. Give me a second, Mr. Left Field. Um, I know I'm going way in left field with this, but they should go get Thunder Liger and sign him as a coach in AEW. Yeah, that's a possibility. So, But they got D. Malenko. D. Malenko is pretty... AEW pre-shows are horrible. I I agree. I agree. I hate to I hate to agree with you because I'm a I'm a huge supporter of AEW for the short time they've been around, but man. They usually have one average match and then two just god awful matches. And all that, but then they put that shit on like free television. It's like man. A lot of WWE fans and a lot of pro wrestling fans are checking you out on free first. And that's what you fucking deliver? Ring of Honor had a really good free match the other day on Facebook. Oh shit. Yeah, if I wasn't a main event on a pay-per-view, I'd definitely try to get on the pre-show for these smaller companies that are free. You no selling the big boot, bitch. For those that know the history of the stream, this is probably the greatest rival in this stream. We have it all archived on Coco Plays if you want to see thousands of matches of me yelling like an idiot. If I wasn't lazy, I'd probably make a documentary. That'd be cool having documentaries on the game. Episode 1, episode 50. Oh, yeah. Everyone remembers episode 50. I used to number the episodes. But once we got to episode 100, I was like, this is ridiculous. I'm done that. Oh, maybe I should re rename it or uh, renumber it. It'll be like episode 500. Gotta go back next time. Peace out. Hey, appreciate you being here, King Darkwing Duck. Much love, brother. Have uh, fun. We'll be, we stream here almost seven days a week, except yesterday I was sick and I was busy at work. I'm basically streaming here if work and health that allows it. Morning time usually for you, because, yeah, there we go. I appreciate you being here, King Darkwing. On the road. I think there's 70 followers. Well, let me know you when you have free time. I want to go over things streaming on your computer. Yeah, yeah, definitely soon. I was hoping to hit you up because I, I fucking I was so sick on Saturday. And then, like, I stayed up all night. I've been up since, I think, like, 9 o'clock yesterday. So, like, 12 plus hours. In the middle of the night, I was trying to get shit done and couldn't get a hold of you. And I don't blame you or anything, but it's just like, man, that would have been perfect timing. Because I'm probably going to stream hockey after this. Maybe stream a little hut. Plus, I want to do two more reviews for Coco Sports. I feel you, man. I haven't been feeling that great either. 
Sorry to hear that, brother. Well, I appreciate you checking out the stream, man. Big fucking boot. Can I finish him with the big boot? The OP big boot! Oh, he's got heart. He's like, listen. We fucking built this goddamn channel. We built this universe together. There you go. Ah, he's gonna be in the ropes. Big fucking boot! Hold on, give me a second. We'll get to your live comments in a bit. Let's see. I feel you, man. Not been feeling that great either. What did you think of MJ and Spider-Man Far From Home, Dave? I like that she's a lot different. I really do. I loved Spider-Man Far From Home, man. The ending was ridiculously awesome. Just insane. The Mysterio fucking was amazing. Between major earthquakes and my stomach giving me problems. Uh, ripping me. Yeah, sorry to hear that, man. So there you go. What do we got? Oh, we got someone in the chat. MS caught up on him. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. All right, hold on. I think we're almost at 70 fucking followers. We're at 69 followers. Bear friend, we're at 69 followers. Uh-huh, uh-huh. 69's in the chat. There you go, a little 69 in the chat. <laughs> Bear friend, do you find me more attractive? Bear friend says no. I was surprised at the different portrayal of MJ, but I kind of like her. Me too. Dave confirmed to like 69. Never. Uh, yeah, I like 69. <laughs> Alright, hold on. I gotta find a better way to write. Because I can't write on this fucking thing because it will count. Cena's done. Omega's done. We got Dean Ambrose, Taker, Dusty, Cody, Hogan, Captain America, Angle. Coco loves 69. Dave, okay, guys. Listen, I like 69, but it's the road to 70. It's not a road to 69. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got here. <clears throat> you guys have any suggestions? Bradshaw was a U.S. champ. Sure, that was the that was. I right, Moxley. I don't have Moxley, but I have Dean Ambrose. So we'll count it. We got two Dean Ambroses: the Lunatic Fringe or the Lunatic Fringe. Why the fuck do I have two? Let's see. Is there any American-looking one? No. What about over here? Do they have the same exact fucking outfits? Oh uh, no, they're a little different. Say like a bull or something. Alright, uh, t-shirt? Little devil t-shirt? Yeah, whatever, dude. Do you want to play some Rocket League tonight? Yeah, fuck yeah, I'll play some Rocket League tonight. I would have loved to play the Rocket League. Yeah, yeah, let's Rocket League it up. It's the weekend. You get a little fucking loosey-goosey. I'm gonna play some NHL Hut later. We can play some Rocket League. If you're available after the stream, we can do it. U.S. title will be on the line. Dean Ambrose, who's the current U.S. champ. That's how he gets this fucking shot at the Great American Bash. Dean Ambrose, we're crossing you off the list. We still have Taker, Dusty, Cody, Hogan, and Captain America and Kurt Angle. Maybe Kurt Angle will be the main event? I don't know. Yeah, but I'd love to play. You need to get rid of the slave names. Oh, shit got real. Sure, that's what they all say. Just kidding. It's the road to 70. And once we get 70, it's the road to 80. It never does. I'm, I'm, I'm just... I, I just want to be good at this Twitch stuff, guys. <laughs> Please follow. Or Bear Friend will beat me. You giggle, Bear Friend, but we spent a lot of money on this. Obsession of ours. You just be like, she's gonna beat me. Oh shit. What are you doing? Alright, here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck. 
fuck yeah. Oh, stop punching me in the fucking belly, you fucking jerk. Seriously. You're a real fucking jerk. Oh, I said it. Glad I did. I have no regrets. There we go. Oh, fuck. Come here. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, but for some reason your overlay wasn't working. They just have a camera and no graphics. Some of this? You want some of this? I'll get it to you. There you go. Fuck yeah. Okay. Drop kick. Reboot, reboot. Ah, uh, toe-to-toe, toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Will Dave be like his YouTube friends who disappear after saying he'd play online with them? You have Colonel Sanders in this game? I uh, have Corporal Kirshner. I don't know if I have Colonel Sanders. Um, I've downloaded some weird fuckers, though. I've been deleting the weird fuckers so I can get real wrestlers. But I still have a long way to go to delete. Still have a long way to go. Fucking backbreaker. Oh shit. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Five minutes There you go. Yeah, we gotta do adventures. We gotta adventures. I was thinking Sonic, Mania, finish Mega Man 11. We got the sequel to the Halloween game. So, Bear Friend, are you ready? Sonic Mini is a great game. Yeah, we got it. Oh, we can do Detroit too, yeah. Adventures with Bear Friend. Coming soon to Twitch.tv Coco Sports. Big fucking boot. I quite to see Bear friend, Bear Friend's facial reactions while playing Mega Man 11. Oh, that's true. You guys will get to see Bear Friend. Bear Friend's a shy bear. Even though her pictures are all over by Instagram. Bear Friend, are you ready to be a Twitch thought? Is that what they call them? You and Bear Friend should pray Brawlhalla. I don't know what Brawlhalla is. There we go. We gotta finish Mega Man 11 now. We started on Coco Plays, we need to finish it. Plus we can do Co Mega Man 2, we can do all the Mega Mans. Why not, am I right? Mega Man it the fuck up. Well, the good thing is we'll be way faster at Mega Man 2 than we will be at Mega Man 11. Oh, no. Oh, Bear Friend. At work? Mega Man 6 through 10? The collection is like 2,000 yen. Yeah, should I get it? Yeah, it's on PlayStation 4. Alright. Bear friends and... Oh, we have to beat 11. Oh, shit. There we go. Is there a bear robot in Mega Man? I hope there is, but there's probably not. Something that me... Uh, something that me, you, everyone can play on PlayStation 4. Oh, Brawlhalla? Alright. We'll give it a shot. We'll see what's up. Oh, 
big fucking boot. There's Dinosaur Robot Master in Mega Man 7. Ah, uh, we just fucking won with a big boot, folks. Dean Ambrose is gone. Next, I think we got we got you know, a little fun. Let's 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 fucking lighten the mood here. We go Captain America. Thanks, Dean Ambrose. Appreciate the fucking chance. Maybe I'll add his name to Moxley later. All right, Captain America. It's coming. There we go. What do we got? Boom. Jay White. How how could you do it, Jay White? Ow. Captain America. There he is, Steve Rogers. Oh, serious Captain America. A bearded Captain America or old school. What do you think? Serious Captain America? You no know, mask Captain America, Steve Rogers? Or bright ass red, white, and blue? It's very close to Smash Brothers. Oh, that's cool. I'm thinking we gotta go bright red, white, and blue on American Bash. The Great American Bash. Red, white, and blue. As I thought. What if he wins the US title? What if I control fucking Okada and not restart the game? Hmm? Hmm? These are all important questions. Yeah. Alright. I'll play. I fucking suck at Smash. But yeah, I'll play it. Do they have Crash Bandicoot? they have Sonic? Or probably not. I was playing Smash Brothers with some friends at a party I was at today. Sweet. Here comes Captain America. Here comes Captain Japan. Hoi. See, that's America's ass versus Japan's ass. Whoa, going straight for the fucking Rainmaker! You might have Super Serum, but you don't have fucking Okada Serum. An Okada Cutter. Man, Captain America's a bit of a fucking jobber. Crash Team Racing is on PS4 in the same original Crash games. Sweet. Yeah, I, I got, uh... I have the Crash Bandicoot collection. We can add that to Adventures with Bear Friends. Oh, shit. Alright, there we go. Yeah, on um, both, they're great. Oh, that's awesome, so yeah. Or, or both. Crash Bandicoot was my childhood. Mine was Sonic, Mario, Mega Man. Probably Mega Man was my childhood, though, think about it. Final. I'd say Final Fantasy VII, but that was more of like my teenage years. And EA Sports. EA Sports and Mega Man was probably my childhood. The Great American Bash. Okada defends the IDGP US title against Captain America. Only on Twitch.tv Coco Sports. Yeah, boop, boop. Boop, boop. Oh shit, there we go. Fucking drop kick. Oh shit, kick him in the ass. Kick him in the ass. Fucking. Uh... I just killed Captain America! No! Captain America in less than four minutes! This must have been scrawny Steve Rogers. Holy shit. Sorry, Cap. Here, uh, let me see if I can revive you. Sorry. You okay? Hey, you okay? You okay? He's not okay. You killed Captain America at the Great American Bash! Hail Hydra! Hail Hydra! Hail Hydra! Uh, cool, Borders, NBA Jam, oh, NBA Jam, Ready to Rumble 1 and 2, yeah, Ready to Rumble, NBA Jam, that was the fucking, that was, yeah, oh god, I'm gonna I'm get NBA J dude, yeah, NBA Jam, wow, that's bringing back some memories, you killed Captain America, I sure did, damn, sorry Cap, sorry to do that to you, man, you got Hogan, Dusty, Taker, Cody, and then any other requests. There's an NBA Jam on PlayStation 3, but I own a PlayStation 4. Oh, here you go. Damn. Killed Captain America. I hope he's dancing with Pecky Carter in heaven.
Angle, Cody, Hogan. Oh, let's try it. I'm gonna try Hulk Hogan. Taker. All right, let's go Undertaker. But we need American Undertaker. All right. All right. The the Undertaker. I got two Undertakers. All right. Which one? Which one's American Badass? That's kind of American Badass. Yeah. There you go. American Badass Undertaker. There we go. Yeah, I want to get NBA Jam on PlayStation 4 and Blitz. Oh, God. That was good shit. Remember NHL had one? But I guess threes is kind of like that now. Should we count wrestlers who held the NXT North American title? Uh, someone fucking forgot to control Okada. This is the first time this ever happened on this channel. I want to apologize. I was distracted thinking about NBA Jam. Alright, here we go. Ah, oh, fuck. Why did I do that first? I gotta do the US title first. Alright. The American Badass. Undertaker. Should we count wrestlers who held the, the NXT North American title? Yeah, sure, why not? That's a good idea. You can do it. Taker's off the list. So we got Dusty Cody tag match, Hogan, Angle, and anyone you can think of. I'm thinking Angle should be the main event. With Hogan being semi. And then we'll do Dusty Cody and requests. They have to have an American tie to it. There we go. Oh, shit. Oh, don't forget Tanahashi level 10. Oh, fuck me. You're right. That I guess that will be the main event. I don't think I can win, but I'll try my best. All right, so Tanahashi will be level 10 main event. Oh, shit. Oh, not the fucking belly punch. Anything but the belly punch. All right, there we go, there we go. Come on, boys. The Great American Bash. Taking on USA gimmicks slash USA heroes. Or former US champs. There we go, choking them out. Uh, champs, Ricochet, Velveteen Dream. These were U North American champs in NXT. Um, Johnny Gargano and Adam Cole, baby. Alright, hope to see. Dude, on NXT, I really enjoyed Adam Cole's fucking vignette. It was pretty fucking awesome, actually. And then Tanahashi will be level 10. I reviewed the G1 Climax in Dallas, Texas on the Kogo Sports YouTube channel. Oh, Jesus! Come on, Taker! Unpopular opinion of the night! Badass, badass taker, American badass was the best taker. Holy shit. Did you see that fucking big boot? Took my fucking head off. Alright, come on, Okada. Which button's the best way to break out? Or do you just put NXT so awesome? I agree. It's definitely the best WWE product by far. Oh, god damn it. This fucking quadruple elbows to the fucking head. Ridiculous. <laughs> Perfect drop kick, Okada. Nothing wrong with it. This game will make you fucking hate drop kicks. If you didn't hate drop kicks before this game, you'll fucking hate them. And you'll love big boots, because, well, the big boot is OP. There you go. Dude, you just fucking no sold that. Oh, let's do a macho man. Oh, yeah. Shit. I actually legit missed that one. I thought I was going to get it for a second. Ah, oh, stop punching me in the gut like a fucking dick, Undertaker. Undertaker. Come on, help me out. Ah, oh, big fucking boot. Here we go. On the road to 70 followers. Ah-ha-ha! -ha! 
I'm a kickboxing fucking legend. Did you see that shit, gentlemen? Uh, wearing them down. Just taking it to the taker. Just taking it to the taker. Poor Corporal Krishner. He didn't get no bookings this year. He was on last year's Great American Bash. Not this year. He got bumped, Corporal Krishner. Oh, shit. So I guess any U.S. champ would count. The Great American Bash. We'll do this after every major American holiday. Even though I live in Japan. I was born in the Americas. There you go. One. Two. Come here, take. Can I call you take? Hey, oh, yeah, drop kick. All right, come on, boys. Oh, fucking small boot, big boot, cutter. Uh, oh yeah. There we go. Two. Son of a biscuit and cheese taker. No wonder why you won the fucking. Sh you got that streak going. Oh come on, come on. There we go. I'll never understand why WWE defenders hate NXT, even though it's WWE. Oh, they just hate good wrestling. Like. They're, they're so fucking mean, but it's so funny because as soon as they come up to the WWE, they act like they've known them the whole time. I don't know, WWE fans are fucking weird. What's Japan Independence Day if they have one? I have no idea. They have a lot of weird ass holidays. I just know I have off, so. I don't even know if they have an Independence Day. Bear Friend, does Japan have an Independence Day? Japan, Japan was the ones that conquered. Now the island is all yours, except for the ones that China fight you over. Oh, come on. Undertaker, stop being a fucking dick. Oh, shit. It just got real. He's talking shit and everything. Guys, I might lose the fucking US title here to fucking Taker. Shit just became a relic. You don't celebrate the Emperor's birthday or something? Oh, yeah, we celebrate the Emperor's birthday. But that's not really an Independence Day. That's more of like, fuck yeah, that guy owns us. <laughs> also, hi senpai, I could hear in the background talking. Yeah, this mic picks up everything, bear friends. We got a super mic. Oh, Jesus Christ, I'm blown up from a fucking cutter? Undertaker, why are you showing so much fucking heart and determination? You know what? Oh, shit. Holy fuck, just got hit by a goddamn tombstone from the man himself. Alright, come on. Come on, Okada. No, Okada, not like this! Oh, thank baby Jesus. Let's get the fuck out of here. Undertaker, I respect you, but now you've asked for it, okay? There's Kevin Kelly. How you doing, Kevin Kelly? Oh, Jesus Christ. The fuck, Taker? I didn't know it was gonna be like this, man. I thought we were gonna be friends. Alright, let me breathe. I'm gonna get a fucking chair and I'm gonna breathe. If this is a real match, Taker would just dive over the top rope. He's just waiting like a prick. Alright, I gotta line up. Perfect. Alright, here we go. Taker. Alright. That's kind of bullshit. How does he not fucking hit him with a chair? Oh, a choke slam! No, 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 no! Oh, what hard determination! Okay, okay. Regroup. Breathe. Uh, he's tired. I'm tired. Get in the fucking ring, Okada. Big. Yeah, big fucking boot. Alright. Uh, uh There we go. <laughs> ah, fuck it, dude. I'm tired. I'm a fucking heel. Fuck you guys. Oh my god, he's got heart! He's got determination! 
I'm gonna lose! No! And he's gonna choke slam me on the chair! This is unbelievable! The heart! The determination! That was the greatest finish ever and I fucking lost! He un <laughs> Seriously, I just lost the US title. But that is seriously the greatest way to lose the US title twice. I fucking hit him. Oh my god. That was fucking beyond amazing. A 92%. That was 100% ranting. Holy shit. You tried to cheat and you lost. Exactly. Uh, usually if you throw your opponent to a barricade, you can hear the commentators yell in Japanese. Oh, that's awesome. Oh my god. I just lost the US title. Should I continue on with the pay-per-view and try to get a rematch on Thursday night Twitch Thunder? She, oh, well, let's just put Taker's name in. We'll call him Taker. Because we're close friends. There we go. Oh, Bear Friend, I lost the US title. The Undertaker, the best part is I cheated and still lost. I hit him twice with a chair and then went for a move and he choke slammed me on the chair and beat me. It was by far the best finish in the history of fucking ever. Yep, just keep going and get the belt back on a later stream. All right, there you go. Undertaker is now the U.S. champ. So we have to put him on the list of fucking people we got to face. Uh, it's sweetheart. Undertaker is the U.S. champ. Wow. What heart and determination. If I can, we clip, that's the fucking scene we should clip. Man. I hit that motherfucker twice with a chair. So no more U.S. titles. Just fucking matches. Are we gonna go? Oh, look at that, look at that! He's got the U.S. title! The IWGP U.S. title is on The Undertaker! Oh, man, I did not see that coming. I did not see that coming. Alright, next is tag team match. Alright, let's do it. Wow, I don't even know what to say. Man, that sucks. Sweet, just got home. Andy Paps! You better, you better be watching some goddamn live streaming here, Andy Paps. Now let's just say, watch live streams. Uh, let me see. Streaming on a Twitch. Streaming on the Twitch. Wow, what a fucking match. Uh, next is a tag match against uh, Cody and Dustin. Got it. Let's get... Andrew sent a photo. What, what did Mr. Pab send me? It's just awesome. That's not a photo, that's a comment. Fucking phone. Did you know the difference between a photo and a comment, you jerk? Alright, let's get sexy on my handsome. Let's fucking make it. He's on Team Chaos. There we go. Sexy on my handsome. No titles. But pride. Do we have a USA? I guess the blue would be the closest. Uh, I'd be the closest. Alright. Oh, control sexy. I'm a handsome too. So I fucking decide the tags here. The run ins might be more difficult, but hey. Alright, goddammit. I can't believe it. There's Dusty. Alright. Oh, we got Dustin too. Uh, do we got any American? Uh, that's kind of. Uh, we'll go with that. It's kind of American. The American Dream Dusty Roads. Alright, and then we got Cody. I'll put Dustin in the corner too. Well, the whole fucking family there, alright? There's fucking Cody Rhodes. I just got one Cody? Oh, I thought I had two. Maybe he made it, didn't make it out of the weeks. Alright, there we go. There we go. And then second tier, we'll get Dustin. Uh, how the fuck do I spell Dustin? <laughs> Whoops, there's Dustin. You got any American looking clothes? No. Alright, well, you. That's as American as we're gonna try to make you look, buddy. You're, you're in the background. You know, we get a fucking match. Alright? And... What the hell is Cody's wife's name again? Shit, why can't I fucking remember this now that I'm online? 
Cody's wife. Come back, cheese. Da, 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 da. Brand brandy. Brandy, of course it's brandy. Brandy Rhodes. How does the alphabet work again? Oh, there she is. Brandy Rhodes. Uh, I guess that's as American as it's gonna get. Alright, if you're gonna have secondary guys, I'm gonna have secondary guys. Alright, let's see. Uh, we'll get a G.I. Joe guy. He's not, he's not, he's not good enough to be at it, but he's, he's good enough to fucking get his spot. Oh, uh, where is it? Gung Ho? There we go, from G.I. Joe fame. Oh, uh, yeah, he usually wears that. You got Gung Ho from G.I. Joe. He's joined Chaos. And Corporal Kushner. They're not good enough to get their own matches, but they get to make appearances, alright? No one requested them, but they're here. Corporal Kushner. Oh, they got kill shot. Alright, how the fuck? Put an alphabetical order, you jackasses. Alright, Corporal Kushner. Conor McGregor? No, Cor Corporal Kushner. There you go. So we got some American heroes backing us up. It's the Rhodes family versus Chaos and American heroes. There we go. Tag team match. Let's fucking make it happen. I, uh, Brandon. Hi, Larry. At this point, you should probably just make it an eight-man tag match. I'm kidding. Oh, that would take forever. That'd take forever. You know, did we did you get 100% earlier? Did we get a fucking trophy? Notifications. Kevin Buchanan left a message on your video. What's, what's the message? Kevin Buchanan? What's up, Coco? Nothing much. What's up, Mr. Buchanan? Appreciate you being here, man. Appreciate it. Here comes Cody. Making it fucking happen, folks. All right. Cody Rhodes, American Nightmare. Gotta tag up with his dad, the American Dream. There we go. Fuck yeah, Dusty Rhodes. You're the man. The American Dream and the American Nightmare on the Great American Bash. And you got Dustin, you got uh, Brandy, and then you got Okada and Sexy Yama Handsome, Team Chaos. There we go. And then we got two American heroes, G.I. Joe Marine, Gung Ho, and Corporal Kishner. Maybe we'll put American heroes in the background as this pay-per-view is lining up. We gotta get we gotta get them that Twitch payday. Am I right? They didn't get matches, but respect. Put him in the fucking card. Oh shit. Oh yeah. Maybe we'll give Red Shoes a break and try to get a new referee. <clears throat> There's the Rhodes family. Oh, shit. Oh, big fucking boots. All right. Cody's like, I, I trust Dad. Dad's not going to fuck this up. All right, come on, Cody. I'll be back in a bit. I'm going to go to snack. All right, don't go too far, man. Main events are coming up. And then if you're not here, I'll be talking to myself. And if I'm talking to myself, I won't be a streamer. I'll be insane. <laughs> You're the only reason I'm not insane. Alright, here we go. So, we got a couple more matches. We're doing an American-themed pay-per-view for 4th of July. And New Japan being in America. We reviewed the show earlier. The G1 show. So, it's on Coco Sports' YouTube channel. Check it out. Oh, shit. Me and Sexy Yama Handsome, the greatest video game athlete ever, against the Rhodes family. We got Gun Ho, G.I. Joe Marine, and Kerpal Krishner. No one requested them, but I figured they'd get a quick payday. You know, respect those American heroes. We still have Kurt Angle, and Hulk Hogan as Mr. USA, and Tanahashi on level 10. To go. And in requests... We'll make happen. Oh shit. Getting suplexed by the Rhodes boys. Alright, 
right, here we go, here we go. I got an itchy ear. Wow. I hope that's like when someone new comes in. Like, hmm, I wonder what this stream's about. I got an itchy ear. And they're like, I'm out. <laughs> oh shit, come on, boys. Big fucking boot. Uh, Sexy Yama, fuck it, are you for real? Dude, Sexy Yama just watched everyone run in the fucking ring. Is this motherfucker for real? Sexy Yama handsome. Look at Gung Ho in the corner. I'm back, I have brownies. Breaking news! Dude, I miss brownies. I, I don't know, I want to work out and be skinny, but I also want to be fat and eat a lot of food. These are my problems. Dude, you just hit your own son! That's roads on roads violence! There we go. Sexy Yama! Are you fucking for real? Did you just watch this motherfucker kick me in the goddamn nuts and did nothing? Hashtag Sexy Yama Handsome might be the shittiest goddamn guy ever. There's Gung Ho. There's Corporal Kushner. There's Dustin Rhodes. And there is Brandy. The mustache is very selfish. Yes, he is. In every dimension, he's the most selfish fucking prick you'll ever meet in your life. Alright, whatever. Fair fucking... Oh, would you... Oh, shit! There we go, big boot. Should I let him in? Well, let's let this selfish prick in. Uh, you gotta do something, Okada? Okada's like, fuck you, young lion. There we go, fucking... Oh! Alright. Yeah! I learned that from daddy! Sexy Yama Handsome, the greatest video game athlete of all time. Oh shit. There we go. Oh shit. There we go, there we go, there we go. Alright. Alright. DT. Some of this. I'm so smart. Some of this. Oh yeah. This is my favorite. Oh no, this is my favorite. Ooh, yeah! Sexy, I'm a handsome. Dusty's like, I ain't having any of that shit. Not at the Great American Bash, a pay-per-view I helped create. Ah, oh, there we go. Okada's this fucking selfish prick, too. I guess he's teaching the young kid a lesson. He's like, you're gonna be selfish with me, I'll be selfish with you. Oh, man. Oh, sexy, I'm a handsome at the Great American Bash. Some of this... Uh, Brandy is very, very nice looking. Yeah, she's a very attractive woman. Uh, uh, Gung Ho, Corporal Kishner! Come on, don't just stand there for a payday! Help us out! Oh shit! Young Lion falling for it. Uh, what it oh yeah! Sexy young handsome! I'm so smart. Look at this. Look at it. Look at it. Oh, toe to toe. Cody and Sexy Yama Handsome. There we go. Alright, let's go tag let's go tag Daddy in. Daddy, come on in. Are right, you gonna do something sexy? There we go. Yeah, fuck yeah. Follow it up. There we go. Sexy, I need you, buddy. Mr. Handsome! Dude, what a fucking prick. Hashtag sexy Yama Handsome is the biggest fucking prick I've ever met in my life. I love him. Rain me! Oh yeah! Alright, sexy Yama, you gotta stop Dusty. Seriously? <laughs> oh my god. This is the fucking greatest, dude. The AI got it 100% right with sexy Yama Handsome. There we go. And I met this cute girl at the party I was at today. Sweet. She's in Dark Horror, so she might buy Operation Freak Show. S Double sweet. And uh, let's see. God damn it. Did Sexy Old Man have actually come in the ring to do something? Oh, shit. Pile driver. Sexy Old Man, I fucking need you, man. Yes! Are you for real, Cody? Are you fucking for real right now? 
Oh shit, a Pele. Uh, big boot. Big, oh shit. There we go. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck yeah, fuck yeah, fuck yeah, fuck yeah. Oh, Dusty with the heart and determination. Dusty, stop fucking brawling with me and let me hit you with a Rainmaker. Fine. You wanna fucking brawl? I can fucking brawl. Stop with the drop kick. No one wants to fucking hit the drop kick. There we go. Alright, alright, alright. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Don't kick me. Where the fuck are you, sexy Yama Handsome? Seriously. Alright, hold on, hold on. If I hit you now. Oh, fuck. I fucked up that timing, boys. Uh, I hope Luigi Knockout and Captain Sassy Pants are this selfish of dicks. If they are, next year's Tokyo Ninja Turtles are totally fucked. Oh, shit. Yeah! Did you just fucking see that dropkick, folks? There we go. Se are you fucking for real, sexy Yama Handsome? Is, it, is this like real life, you fucking greedy prick? Do you like Dusty back in NWA days? Fuck yeah. I loved him. I was more of a Ric Flair guy, but I loved Dusty. Man, there was just two characters that were complete opposites, yet fucking lovable. Ric Flair. Alright, you? Get the fuck out of here. You? Rainmaker? Alright, alright. Sexy up my head, so please! Run! Run, you fucking prick! Ah, kick him, Sexyama. Corporal Kishner. God damn, it. why is Dusty allowed? Dude, what? Dusty cares about his family so much more than Sexyama Handsome cares about his partner. All right, all right, there we go. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Oh, fuck. Ah, shit. I knew it was coming. I could not stop it. Oh, the figure fours. Sexy Yama! Thank you, Sexy. <laughs> he spits his character. Yeah, Dusty's the best, and his Hard Times promo is like the best promo of all fucking time. Hard Times. Hard Times is having a mustached young kid fucking never come in to make it break. Are you fucking for real, Sexy Yama Handsome? Is this even fucking real life, Sexy Yama Handsome? Is it? Oh, is it sexy? Yeah, I didn't expect you to come back. Drop kick. Yeah, let's kick this back a little bit. Drop kick, nothing as you do. All right. The Xbox of NHL 20 will win the award for least passing team. <laughs> yes. Oh shit. Oh, not the belly punch. Anything but the belly punch. No. 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 Sexy Yama Handsome, help me. Help me, Sexy Yama Handsome. There we go. Alright. <laughs> Thanks, Sexy. Thanks for all the help. Did you fucking... <laughs> Did we just win? I guess we fucking won! That's why Sexy Yama Heads was celebrating. Get over here, you fucking young lion piece of shit. Uh, the Ice Bucks in NHL 20 will win the award for least passing on any team. Possibility. Possibility. Ah, oh, there we go. Alright, let's, let's scratch out Dusty and Cody. We got Hogan and Angle and Tanahashi. And now we're gonna call it a day, folks. Let's see what the fuck we're doing here. RevTech is playing Rocket League, so maybe we'll follow him. Fatal Charade is fucking playing Fire Pro Wrestling World. Alright, so let's go. One more. Kurt Angle. Alright, Kurt Angle it up. Angle. Oh, what about Hogan? I think Hogan should go first. You think... Uh, I can't believe the US... I lost the US title. The goddamn... You want Kurt Angle next? Mr. America, Hulk Hogan. All right, let's try to find Hulk Hogan as Mr. America. Logic Club? 
Oh, there we go. Thank you, Logic Club. It's like Bullet Club for thinkers. All right, Mr. America Hulk Hogan. Oh, yeah. All right, the Great American Bash. Happy Independence Day. Happy New Japan Day in America. All right, there we go, folks. Making it fucking happen. All right, oh, shit. There we go. And here comes Okada. And a semi-main event. Oh, no, there's still, still two more matches. Hogan was your favorite back in the 80s, right? No, I fucking hated Hogan. I always hated Hogan. But I didn't hate Mr. America for some reason. I wish they went longer with that gimmick. There we go. Alright, come here, buddy. There you go, you got a fucking big boot. Oh, fucking, he knows the belly punch. Oh, God. If Hogan comes back, he has to come back as Mr. America. See, I love Mr. America, but I hate Hulk Hogan. So there's a good chance that Hulk Hogan isn't Mr. America. There we go. Hogan was your... Uh, who did you hate more? Hogan in the 80s or Cena in the mid... Uh, definitely Cena, because Hogan, at least you had other options. Like when Hogan was on top of the world, you could see Ric Flair and NWA and WCW. And, you know what I mean? But when it was John Cena, it was like such a big dip in competition. Oh, a fucking belly punch. Yeah, but Hogan was one of the main reasons. Well, not the only reason, but one of the main reasons I broke the WCW fan. Oh, shit. Hogan, you no big selling bastard. I can't believe Undertaker beat me for the US title. So yeah, I hate it. I definitely hated Cena more. Because Hogan, I just wouldn't watch. But Cena was like, alright, I guess I have to fucking watch you because you're the only shit on. Oh, toe to toe. Mr. America versus Okada. There we go. Oh, uh, we should have next American Bash. Maybe I'll download a Donald Trump. Maybe I'll do it during voting season. I'll download a bunch of political candidates and beat all their ass. There we go. Mr. America. Can you believe the fucking Undertaker beat me? And the way he beat me? That was amazing. Probably gonna play some uh, Rocket League later. And... We're gonna probably play some hot later. At the party today, we were all making Trump jokes. I'm surprised we're all still alive. I don't know. I, I have no idea what's going on in America. I know the G1 happened. That's as political as I get. Oh, stop grinding me. Oh, Hogan. I'm sorry, Mr. America. We don't know if it's Hogan. It has not been confirmed yet. Oh, shit. There we go. Alright, big fucking dropkick coming. Right, let's do it, let's do it. I think the Undertaker match went too long. That's why he beat me. That's my theory. Big boot in Hogan. The irony. Rainmaker into it. Fucking tap out. Tap out. Tap out. There we go. There we go. Big boot. Uh, I don't give a shit about politics, though. I'd rather pay attention to video games than wrestling. Yeah. I just don't think you can make a difference. Like, <laughs> yeah. I know it sounds fucking sad, but I just agree. You're not going to change people's minds. And the people that you think are great are not. So, anarchy and streaming, my friend. Anarchy and streaming. There you go. 
Oh shit. I think that's what the Founding Fathers wanted. They're like, on Independence Day, they're like, should we say anarchy and streaming? And they're like, well, how are we supposed to make money on anarchy and streaming? And they're like, all right, yeah, let's really fuck them over. <laughs> I'm proud to be an American. Where at least I know Mr. America will protect us. That's how the song goes, right? Holy shit. Alright, I'm just gonna fucking beat you with the big boot. I'm just gonna fucking big boot you till you fucking stay down. Alright? It's all about beating him with the big boot, folks. I'll big boot him all day. Holy shit. Hogan has fucking heart. I'm sorry, not Hogan. Mr. America. We can vote for different people to be president, but we can't vote for what they do once they get there. Yeah. Uh, oh, I guess we're going to win with an Okada cutter. No, oh, Jesus Christ. How many 2.9s can I get? One match. Oh, shit. Reverse that. Reverse it. There we go. I right, breathe. Breathe. The great American bash. Jesus. I didn't know Mr. USA was so agile. There you go, fucking double boot for you. Breathe. Cutter. Get the crowd into it. Flip him over. Uh, kick him. Oh, we have to do the macho, man. There's no better opponent. Son of a bitch! This Mr. USA guy knows my moves. There we go. Alright, excuse me, sir. What? Really? Rainmaker! Alright, let's make him tap out. Let's make him tap out. Tap out. Tap out. The spirit of America runs through your blood. Also, kid, uh, um, Jesus Christ, how many times am I gonna get a fucking 2.9? Alright, I gotta fucking hurry the fuck up. I gotta get a macho man here going. Fuck yeah! There we go. Also, could you ask Bearfriend about, uh, Kichichi Jojo? Whatever the hell that is, a new area in the Persona game. Is that a real place? Is Kichi. Oh, it's a student's town. Not student, but young people go there. Oh, it's like a young person's town. That's why I don't know about it. Wrestling Riot gave us a 76%. Way to go. All right. We got Angle, and then Tanahashi, and then the pay-per-view's over. He said, thank you, senpai. All right, and what do we got? Kurt Angle. Let's do it. Where the fuck is Kurt Angle? How the fuck does the alphabet work? I went too far. There he is. We got this Kurt Angle or this Kurt Angle? Let's see. You suck. Or Olympic Hero. We gotta go Olympic Hero. Olympic Hero. Dark Blue? That one looks more patriotic. Let's go with that. Alright. Change ref. I don't know, who's more American here? Oh, we got Bruce Buffer, Satan, Zomber Z. I don't know who the fuck these guys are. More guys I have to delete. Mills Lane, I think he was a Marine, right? Oh, Wills, Mills, Maine, and Marine. Uh, did you watch Kurt Angle in the Olympics? Yeah, I was there live. I saw him. That was like one of my claims to fame. Um, shit. Mills Lane. Mills Lane, military. I'm pretty sure Mills Lane is in the military. Alright, Mills Lane. Did I spell his name wrong? No. Ah, oh, yeah, he's in the Marines. Alright, perfect. Mills Lane, you're getting rested tonight. Alright? 
Zordog, much love. Metal Hells, much love. Blunto Naito, much love. So appreciate you guys sharing it. Yep, Mills Lane was in the Marine Corps, so we'll let him have the last two matches. There we go. Get Mills Lane in. Alright, let's see. Let's get some Americans up in this joint. Oh, whoops. Second tier guy. I know. Kill shot. Can you think of any Americans that we can throw in here? Ah, screw it. Kill shot, you're not getting your opportunity. There we go. We're good. Kurt Angle. You should make Boom Boom a ref. Yeah, I should. Do you watch Kurt Angle in the Olympics? Yes. I have a Kurt, Ag Kurt, Al Kurt Angle action figure when he still had hair. Yep. Those were the good old days. Well, good old days. Good old oh, here comes Kurt Angle. Love the music. The Great American Bash. Oh, Jesus. Angle? I think this is the fucking Olympics? Come the fuck down. Alright, here we go, boys. Oh, shit. There we go. Yeah, maybe in the future I'll make Boom Boom a ref. I can't believe I lost the fucking title of The Undertaker. Fucking hurts. It hurts, I tell you. I right, breathe, 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 breathe. Be boo! Wow. Be boo! There we go. All right, all right. Pay-per-view is winding down. Semi-main event right here. Lost the U.S. title, but still fucking battling like a true American. Okada. <laughs> there we go. Fuck yeah. Oh, shit! There we go, neckbreaker. Fucking kick him in the face. Oh, shit. There we go. Drop kick him. Big fucking boot. There we go. I'm fucking focused, folks. Since Banjo Kazooie is going to be in Smash Bros., you and Bearfred should face each other. Her as Banjo and you as Mega Man. Yeah, definitely. We'd have to get a Switch for that, though. Maybe in the future we'll get a Switch. But I think first was just a PC that can handle the streams. Plus, maybe a green screen, but we're not sure. I suck at Smash Brothers. Me too. Big fucking boot. Alright. Oh, man. How long has this stream been going on for? One, two. Oh, shit. How many fucking 2.9s do we get here in this pay per view? Raymaker? Can I do Raymaker, Macho Man? Rainmaker Macho Man to Boston Crab! Greatest fucking combination ever in the history of fucking pro wrestling. You just fucking saw it on the Great American Bash. Holy shit. I never did anything that awesome in my life. Oh, fuck me. There you go. Fucking backbreaker. Big fucking boot. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, come on. It's 
not that late. I thought it was a lot later. Maybe it's because I haven't fucking slept all night. But I slept all day Saturday because I was sick. There we go. Plus, I gotta buy a new phone. It's about 1.45 a.m. here. Not too bad. Alright. We beat everyone on the list. Now it's level 10 Tanahashi. Just to see. Winning my- losing my U.S. title wasn't enough. It wasn't. You, you guys fucking have to get, take this a step too fucking far, don't you? Alright, Tanahashi. Uh, that's what he looks like now, so that's what we'll call it. Level 10. Gonna get my ass whooped here. Should Muda get a title shot too? Go Ace! Yeah, well... Oh wait, I can't. Undertaker is the fucking champ. <laughs> Not a... Whoops, I was gonna put the US title on the line, but then I realized I don't have it! Fucking badass biker Undertaker! No! Uh, should I do an IWGP match, level 10? Maybe I can win the IWGP title, plus Muda was part of the Great American Bash before. Alright, there we go. Oh. Oh shit. Uh, Jesus, come on, Tana. Uh, Alright, here we go, here we go. I, I gotta watch my shit. Uh, right now we're just feeling each other out. There we go. Oh, fucking feeling each other out. Feeling each other out. See how it's going. Oh, Jesus. I don't win very often at level 10. Could today be the day? I got a 100% match. I definitely have to put that up in the YouTube highlights. Oh, shit. Yeah, I forgot to do the match before the match for this match. Oh, we got a storyline going in the chat. Let's see what the storyline says. Oh, shit. Man, this is an ugly fucking match. Alright. Tanahashi called you weak for losing your belt to an old man. Now we must show you how to lose to a legend in pride. This is a preview to our match against each other. Possibility. You're gonna fucking whoop that ass. Oh shit, what are you doing? What are you doing here, buddy? Buddy! Fucking A! Alright. Oh fuck. Alright, already got the two, already got the two. Ah oh, shit, 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 shit. I was losing and. Alright. There's some ugly wrestling going on right now. And he's no selling the big boot. And he won't even let me do the cutter. Alright, toe to toe, Kata and Tanahashi. Ah, one of my favorite moments in Wrestle Kingdom is when these two are going at it. When when Okada hit him, we'd yay. And when Tanahashi hit it, hit Okada, we'd boo. It's pretty awesome. Oh shit. Come on, boys. Breathe, breathe, breathe. There you go, okay. Oh shit. Oh fuck me, I didn't expect that at all. Is this motherfucker gonna hit me with the high five flow? He is! Son of a bitch! No! Twice! Oh! Alright, fuck you. Oh, Tana. Tana. Oh, Jesus Christ. No! Alright. I'm totally fucked. Alright, there you go. Is it gonna be a simple roll up? No, look at the heart. I gotta get my timing down on level 10. Jesus Christ! Oh no! Oh Jesus. Tanahashi looks like he's a lot of fun to control. I might have to control him in the future. There you go. Yeah, I'm not very good at this game, but I love it. Oh Jesus! 
Come on, no, 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 no! Not the high five fucking flow! Ah! I lost. Should we go for the NGP title? Just call it a day after that. A bonus match. You know I can't beat Muda on level 10, but I feel like I, you know, I, I earned it. I, I only lost two times. You know? What do you think, bear friend? One more? Sure, our match versus Muda is fine. Tanahashi at level 10. Whoop my ass. Alright, here we go. The IWGP title. Muda comes out and says, I respect. Alright, hold on. What do we got here? There we go. And if I win the title, I need the worst tag team partner in the history of tag team partners. Where are you at, sexy Yama? There you are. Oh, we get Nakamura too, because he was a former US champ. Let's get Nakamura out there, shall we? Oh, but he has to be a second. Oh, there you go. It's not giving me the option for it to be a second. Uh, let's see. Oh, there it is, it is. Nakamura is a former US champ. Anyone else you can think of? Let's see. Uh, not Yoshihashi, cool roster. Just looking for random Americans. You know, Apollo Creed. Bam Bam Bigelow, Barry Windham. I'm gonna get kill shot. There you go. Kill shot. There we go. Kill shot in red? For America? Doing it now. He's only wearing black. There we go. All right, all right. So there we go. We got we got ourselves some friends. Should Muda get some American friends? Hey, Jedi! Bear friend in the chat! Muda was Tashi main event, Rescue Kingdom 6, wasn't it? Or was it 5? I don't remember. Did you tell them about the, how the American flag was opposite on the local grocery store? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All the time, Japan fucks up the... The um, grocery store shit. Like, America takes their flag really seriously, and Japan always uses it as a marketing tool, but hangs it upside down. <laughs> Which only aggravates Americans. <laughs> Alright, bear friend, this is the main event. I got myself some American heroes, but I'm not controlling Okada. <laughs> it's the first time that's ever happened. There you go. That's the first time it's ever happened. Is there any any other American heroes you can think of? Let's find out. Oh, whoops. Let's see. Any American heroes? Stone Cold's kind of an American hero. I don't know if I have Stan Lee. I'm gonna go Apollo Creed. Oh, but Apollo Creed doesn't fucking have the good tights. Apollo Creed's going in the corner. All right. Uh, Captain Marvel, man. Nah. Who else? Who else is American? Gun Ho has already been there. Sergeant Slaughter has already been there. All right, we're making this happen. Oh, the Lex Express! We have red, white, and blue. We need the Lex Express. <laughs> oh. Lex Luger, secondary. There we go. We got the Lex Express. There we go. Adams, uh, fight Ben Still. All right, hold on. I want to order that, but Dave spent tons of money on NHL 20 or Madden or something. Fight Ben Stiller. What does that have to do with anything, Bear Friends? I'm not getting NHL or Madden 20, so I'm spending extra money on Catherine Persona 5 Oil. Adam Sandler. Jedi Coon. I'm so jealous. Um, I know. I think I'd like that. All right. We need one more American hero. Jason Voorhees. Macho Man. Ultimate Warrior. Turbo Man. Maybe John McClane. Spider-Man. Spray. Someone that just screams America. I don't have Rambo, but that'd be cool. 
I got He-Man, Hulk, Thor, Whiplash, Winter Soldier. Oh, that's it. We're out. Let's go Punisher. He's a former Marine. Oh yeah, I could have did that, but it's too late, bear friend. There we go. So we got a bunch of American heroes for the IWGP title. It will be on... Oh, fuck. If the title's on the line, all these guys will disappear. Whoopsie! That was a waste of time. Use your imagination. They're there. They're there in a the corner. Oh, actually, I can still use mine. All right. He has his guys in a corner. Now we're going to get my guys in a corner. All right. There you go. So if I win the IWGP title, I'm going to have some weird-ass people. Who are my people again? <laughs> oh, whoopsie! Alright. Just pretend they're there. That's what we're gonna go with. Just fucking use your imagination. That was a waste of goddamn time. Uh, what did she see from 3? Yeah. We're thinking of streaming the streets of Tokyo, and I think you'd find it similar to the game. Oh, yeah. Bearfriend, you're giving out spoilers! Yeah. That's true. Bear friend does a lot of work. And I really appreciate it. So yeah. We're gonna be streaming something where we go outside. And walk the mean streets of Japan. Alright, there we go, there we go, there we go. Come here, buddy. Don't do this to me. Oh, shit. There we go. Alright, alright. Come here, bitch. Whoa! Ah, god damn it. It's cheating, Muda. Alright. You see all the American heroes on by its side? There you go. There we go. Alright. Ah, oh, come on! Dude, this will save the pay-per-view if I can beat him at level 10. This will save the pay-per-view. Jesus, not the four completing already! Come on, Mills! You can't fucking... Uh, oh, look at Muda pretending to be all innocent. This son of a bitch doesn't fall for any of my fucking moves! Dude. Like, I got my ass kicked by Tanahashi, but Muda just fucking rips me a new asshole. Bear friend, I tried to cheat and lost the U.S. title to Undertaker. Oh, there we go. Alright. Everyone calm the fuck down. Alright. Bear friend, is anything interesting going on in the chat? I also wonder how Dave would react to Shamu. Shamu. Oh, I don't know. He saw a glimpse of Persona 5's gameplay because it was on PewDiePie. That's why Dave should have fought Adam Sandler. Dave's been talking about losing Undertaker all night since it's happened. It was heartbreaking, alright? It was fucking god-awful heartbreaking. Ah, Jesus Christ. No! No, tell me it ain't so! Ah! Come on, baby. Ah, oh, Jesus. Okada stays in these fucking moves too long. Oh, there we go! We got some fucking offense in. Jesus, now I got fucking mist in my eyes, blood in my eyes. He's gonna fucking hang out here until fucking shit goes better. Oh, stop kicking me, dick. Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, I got green blood. I'm a goddamn Christmas mess! This ain't Christmas chaos! It's the Great America Bash! You've been there, Muda. Oh, going for the knee. So speaking of PewDiePie, knee! No! Come on! Not like this! Not now! Son of a biscuit and cheese! No! Akichi will be the Jay White of Persona 5 when Dave plays it. Jesus, come on. You can't just... Uh, see, the thing is, I I beat Brock Lesnar by cheating. 
And then I got fucking heal Muda, and he just got fucking revenge. You know what I mean? He's like, oh, you're a cheater? Wait till you get a load of me, kid. All right, that's it. You know what? I'm going to have to show you that I wear the fucking pants around here, okay? There. Holy shit! He know Brock never fucking knows sold a chair shot. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Brock Brock didn't even do that. Alright, that's just a bit much. Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh, come on. Bear friend, I'm never gonna be able to beat Moon on level 10. It's too fucking hard. I can't do it, bear friends. He's too good. He's he's a better wrestler, he's stronger, he's faster, and he cheats better than me. And he no sells chair shots! Jesus Christ! Even Undertaker sold the chair shot. No! Fuck! This pay-per-view has been a complete disaster, bear friend. Oh, that's old school Muda. There we go. Oh, this ain't how I want to go. I don't want to go out with Muda's balls. I don't want to go out with Muda's balls. Uh, I wonder, wonder who Dave's favorite girl in Persona 5 would be, though. Part of me wants to say Makoto or Haru. Who do you... God damn it! I just tapped out in his balls. Ah, so let's recap. I lost three times. I lost to Tanahashi at level 10. Muda for the IWGP title at level 10. And Brock, uh, not Brock, an Undertaker at level 4 for the US title. Ah, I don't know what to tell you, man. Dude, this motherfucker no sells. Okada confirmed to like Muda's balls. Oh, man. This, this one was a tough one, bear friend. This was a tough one. But we got 69, bear friends. 69 followers. That turn you on? Oh, yeah. 69 followers. Making it fucking happen. Oh, man. There you go. Man. I don't know what to say, but... I, I lost. The Great American Bash is over. Anyway, Naito is cool though, and her wearing the girl's uniform is fun to do. Nice. <sighs> I don't know what to say. What 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 can I say? All right, let's 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 host RevTech or Raid. I am, but I'm gonna stop it and restart it because the computer might freeze. Let's host RevTech. All right, who's coming with me? Who's coming with me? Two viewers. Three viewers. All right. Be ready to raid in two seconds. One. Let's raid. We're raiding now. Everyone, chill out. We're raiding. All right. There we go. You think he's going to say Kogo Sports is handsome? I don't think so. Oh, he said appreciate it. Much love. All right. All right. Alright, um, YouTube audience, and anyone who stayed, much love. I appreciate you guys. Uh, yeah, we stream every day, different stuff. I'm probably going to set R Rocket League up soon. So yeah. Uh, I just did a raid, and now I have a lot of viewers. Nothing makes sense anymore. Alright, so hopefully he kicks the butt over there at RevTech. So everyone, yeah, everyone check out RevTech. Uh, YouTube audience... Like, comment, subscribe! This will be archived up later. So with that, I am over. Ba -na 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 -na. Hey, ba-dum-bum.